<laughs> Welcome to Dancing with the Stars All Access. And what a week we have for you this week on the show. This, more than any other week, is the real emotional week here on Dancing with the Stars. It is most memorable year. So all of our celebs will be dancing tonight in memory of the year that really changed them. We're going to get to know these guys like we've never known them before. We're going to be asking some tough questions, and we're going to hear some really tough things that they've been through in their life that got them to this point. You're going to get to, to know them so much more than the celebrity you see, whether it be in the pool or on television. Uh, so it is a really emotional and exciting episode of the show. But of course, before we get started, uh, before we talk about tonight, we've got to look back at what was uh, an incredibly emotional week last week on the show. Of course, not one, but two people we hate. We all hate double eliminations on the show. It's, and it's easy to understand why. Two of our favorite celebrities and their pros said goodbye. Uh, I think we've got the footage. So let's roll the tape. The first couple to leave us in tonight's double elimination is... The first couple eliminated tonight, Babyface and Allison. Janet and Gleb, Vanilla Ice and Whitney, the next couple leaving right now is... Vanilla Ice and Whitney. Still gets you pretty emotional. It still gets you pretty emotional. Vanilla and Baby, we salute you guys wherever you are. We know you're watching the show. Uh, and, and I guess anyone can go. I think Vanilla Ice especially, we all thought he'd be hanging around. And of course, he was eliminated. Who will go tonight? Of course, tonight, before the show is done, someone will be leaving us. So right now, let's go straight to the leaderboard. And let's take a look exactly how it stands right now. You can see Laurie, James at the top there with Tara really pushing their, 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 their campaign forward uh, to take out the title. And you can see down the other end of the table, Mary Lou, Ryan, Jana. Uh, it's going to be a big night. And of course, not only is it a big night for our celebs on the dance floor, it's an emotional night for them to really tell a story that is hard. Over the years and the seasons that we've done the show, there's been some really emotional stories, and tonight will be no different. We're going to get to know these guys in a way we, we, we never have before. Uh, of course, I'm going to be joined uh, very soon by uh, our wonderful co-host for the evening. But as you can see behind me right now, the very first time ever uh, in Dancing with the Stars history, we have a 60-piece orchestra. We took some pictures during the dress rehearsal, and just absolutely incredible, as you can see. Shana there enjoying the action. Uh, so if you are watching the main show right now, uh, we hope you are loving it. I want to welcome everyone out there, wherever you're watching the show, be it Periscope, Facebook Live, or on Apple, uh, on abc.com. So just let us know right now what you want to ask, what celebrities you want to know uh, about their story or about their journey, any love that you want to give, send it. You know where to find us at DWTS All Access. We are waiting to hear from you. But of course, just to get you in the mood for what tonight is all about and exactly what you're going to see, you can hear the emotional tune behind me right now. All of our pros on the dance floor with a 60-piece orchestra. Incredible. But just to get you, uh, I guess, to set the tone for what tonight is all about, take a look at this. My most memorable year is 2013, the year that my father passed away. 2015 was the year that I realized how precious life is. A few weeks after my mother passed away, I got taxi. When I broke Jerry Rice's record. The year that my husband and I were married. The Olympics was the highest point of my life. Giving birth to my son. I had my baby girl. 2008 was the best year of my life. We are the strong ones, we are the strong ones. Let me tell you, it is going to be an emotional night. Look, we have got our Dance with the Stars All Access tissues ready because we're going to be using them tonight. We expect you to do the same. It's going to be a real emotional tearjerker of a night here tonight. And, and look, 
this week not only has been about them preparing for what is going to be a, a, a very a big test uh, to dance in the face of these stories that they're going to be telling us tonight, it also was a week of engagements. Can we roll this? Look at this, man. Look at these two. Unbelievable. They came up here. And look, so we really want to congratulate from everyone here at All Access. Emma uh, and our boy Sash right there. Look, incredible. Uh, and uh, Emma was in the opening number tonight, but she's going to be up here, we can now tell you, to co-host with us very soon. She's on her way up right now. I know. The air horn guy will be here all night long. Uh, but right now, get your questions in at DWTS All Access, because... At the post show, we're going to have a little bit of an engagement themed event. So if you've got any questions that you want to know or any love that you want to give to Sash and Emma, send them in right now at DWTS All Access. We would love to hear from you guys. Of course, it's all about you. As you know, sitting right in front of you now, how are you watching the show? You can choose exactly how and where you want to watch it. So whatever camera you want to watch uh, tonight, there's going to be a lot of preparing. And I think in the face of some of the stories, there's going to be a lot of emotion. So you're going to get an opportunity to, to look around uh, and really decide exactly how you want to watch the show tonight. We're in for a great show. And of course, tonight, really one of the toughest eliminations that we're going to have here after pouring their hearts out and telling us their stories in, in some real emotional ways. Uh, they are going to have to then face elimination at the end of the show. So who, we, who do we want to stay? Who do we think is going to be going home? We'd love to hear from you at DWTS All Access. Uh, but of course, it wasn't just Sash and Emma who got engaged this week. For those who do not know, wow, Brian and Carla, his girlfriend, they got engaged overnight. Uh, so yes, we're going to be talking to them about that. If you want to send love Ryan's way at DWTS All Access as well, let us know. Sending him some love. You can see that selfie there. So love is in the air. And I don't want to say it's anything to do with us. You know, maybe we're going to get invited to the, the wedding party, the bachelor party. Who knows? But uh, we'd like to say that we had a little something to do with it, don't you think? I think so. Yeah. So look, let us know what you are looking forward to tonight. Who do you think is going to do the best? Who do you think is going to win Dancing with the Stars Season 23? Of course, it is an incredibly co close race this season. Uh, and I think at this point, there are some favorites, but there are also some dark horses. So it's going to be interesting to see how tonight goes. This is a, in past season has really been a turning point in the competition. You get to know someone, not just as a singer or a sports person, you get to know who they are as a person. Uh, and I think that so many people on the show, so many of you guys, when you're watching, you vote for the heart that you see, the soul, and, and who the person is. And this is going to be a real opportunity tonight for us to delve into that. And we can see that there are a lot of people super excited. Lisa Gibbons, unbelievable, good news. Thank you, Lisa. She's going to be coming up and sitting here a little later on to uh, delve into uh, just what's, what it's like to be on the ballroom floor uh but tonight she, of course she's going to be watching and supporting i think mary lou uh but right now we're about to get into our first guests uh so we want to i guess thank you all for sending in your questions and your love for these guys uh our very first guest and we've got our we've got our all access orchestra in here tonight so let's roll that orchestra and say hello to mary lou wah, wah. and welcome you guys to the show and i guess Look, you love that? You love the orchestra. It's the All Access Orchestra. Tonight, Derek, this is always Derek. a very... Look, Derek, he does a good Kiwi. Derek. I know, I know. Trust me. I'm, I'm just so happy to not be dressed as a clown happy. or... You know what else? We're going to bring your mic up there. Oh, yeah, talk yeah, to me. And we want to talk about this week because it is an emotional week for a lot of people. So much crying. Yeah. Everybody's got, like, extra stuff on And, and I think for you, your story, this incredible opportunity that, that changed your life, uh, getting the job on, on taxi and you were... You were your I just mother's lost my mom. Unbelievable. So yeah. what I want to know from both of you guys, how do you create a dance that has both of those emotions infused in it? Well, and, he found... And Derek, how do you do that and ride that line? Well, I think it depends. I think it depends on what song is, what, what's the story. But I feel like with this week, you know, she had told me that her mother's last words were, don't hold back. And this song, Surprise Yourself, you know, I heard it on the radio. I was like, oh, this is perfect. Yeah. This is about just like living your life to the fullest and, and surprising yourself. And so... For me, this dance, this week's dance is just, it's really just, I don't know, it just feels like breath, air, and I don't know. She, she, <laughs> she told me some amazing story. I'll let her tell it, but, um, but, you know, for me, I really wanted to show Mary Lou's just, like, grace and, and elegance and, and beauty this week, you know, in a, in a completely different way. Especially from two weeks where it's been, like, super intense, like, Paso and Tango, and this week mm -hmm. is, like, 
it's like a, it's a, it's something more beautiful. Yeah. Well, like, and I think that so much of that can be put down to the emotion that you're able to put into it, knowing oh, that sure. what, what people Absolutely. are saying out there is how much you're improving week to week and how uh -huh. much it really, you know, and everyone knows how hard you're working, but what, when Derek sure. said that there, what, 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 what's the story? Like, tell us how you're kind of getting in touch with that emotion tonight. Well, first of all, my mother wanted to be a dancer. She was a dancer in a way. She had a, we had a little dancing school in our garage and she taught tap, ballet and jazz and social dancing to grownups. And before she died, she lost her leg, which was horrible. And I was paralyzed from, too. Yeah, and from rheumatoid arthritis. And it was such a health epiphany for me too. But tonight, I feel like this would have been my mother's favorite favorite show. She would have adored Derek. <laughs> she had favored blondes. <laughs> and so tonight, I'm not only dancing for my mother, I'm almost dancing as my mother. Like well, my look, mother would have danced. Uh, these guys here have sent so us some beautiful. amazing questions. And mm. just that you say that, this one is a beautiful one. Ooh. Your mum owned a dance studio. How proud of you no. do you think she would be to see this <laughs> dance right now? Well, she'd be as critical as the judges, no <laughs> question. <laughs> uh, but we taught more like tap ballet and jazz and some social dancing. So it was it was very different from the kind of ballroom that we're doing here. But I think she she'd be very it. proud of me. Yeah. Very proud. You know, my mom was always really proud of her kids and really encouraged them, even though she was, you know, she was tough. And you know what? When, when, when I heard the song Surprise Yourself, I actually to be honest with you, I actually didn't hear her story yet. You had only heard a piece of it. I played, I only heard a little piece of it, but I played it for her. I was like, what do you think about this song? Because for me, like, I look at, like, my mother, for instance, and I look at just sort of just, like, the age where people, like, they get to a certain age, and they're just like, oh, I'm done, I'm, I'm giving up, and I'm just getting old, and that's just what it happens. And I love the song because it's like, no, surprise yourself. Yeah. Like, it ain't Go over. Beyond. No, no. Yeah, like, it's like, totally. like you're just beginning. You're just starting. Like, look, look what she's done, you know, right now. And, like, learning to dance and, and getting better and better each week. And and for me, tonight's her best dance for sure. And, and I, um, I totally, like, oh, you saw watching it? the dress rehearsal, oh, yeah. I totally you. agree. Yeah, and, 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 and a lot of that, we st we started that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Hold, the, hold the applause. <laughs> thank you, guys. Come on. But I feel down. like and this week was a different approach, too. You know, I, uh, I've had, like, a formula about, like, ways to do things to get my girls in a certain way. And this week I was just like, you know what? We're just gonna let you dance, and I'm gonna guide you. But it's, I want it to come from her, and I want it to be authentic for her. So well, well, look, I want to talk quickly about Taxi. One of the oh, interviews yeah. that was done this week was the boy, Mr. Tony Dancer, <laughs> uh, and he sort of said, "Look, we are such a family here at Dance with the Stars, as you know, Derek. And it's all about holding that family together and the mm -hmm. glue." And he was like, "Look, you were that person. I was on Taxi. Always. We've we've actually got the glue." Oh, yeah. She got that. She started doing that with us. Oh. With the, with the cast of, uh, of Taxi, and of course, as the years went on, she's. She's, she's known as the straw that stirs the drink. Swizzle <laughs> stick. He calls me the, the straw, swizzle stick. Look, we, we, we've got the straws. He's the dancer with the stars, all access straws. <laughs> look at these. Swizzle stick. Look at you, you guys can you stir the straws up here on all access. Yeah. Uh, 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 what, 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 what is it about you that you think becomes that I person? think I'm a middle child. I was always the bossiest in the family. I was always the kind of person who liked to organize people and get them together. And I think I've just always been very family oriented. And as a result, whatever group I become a part of, I choose to do that. Well, I can't imagine how much you are loving this experience. Oh I mean, you watch it at it's home. Crazy. Do you realize how much of a I crew it's going to be? Oh, no, I had no idea. You know, you always hope to have it come up to your expectations and it's gone beyond, especially because of that. Well, look, we've got some uh, some questions coming in, so okay. we're going to go to just one more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, boat team. No, yeah, no more questions, but just a lot of love. A oh, lot of love, you guys. She looks beautiful today. Yeah. Thank you. We've had a little, we went through. We had a little makeover, we had a little makeover this week with lots of different, Four things, different things. Makeup and hair <laughs> and also the dress. I saw her dress yesterday. I was like, no, nope, Do you let, do you let Derek right. weigh in on that? Like, is he having a say on what the dress is? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's well, good. Well, yesterday, he, he knows. He well, knows. yesterday, we saw the dress, and I was like, I was like, she can't wear that. So we went into, like, the wear house was like let's yeah. pull some dresses and th she put this one on, and i was like beautiful that's the yeah. one no that's it's the one. one and it's of all the dresses this is the most like what my mom would have worn so well, look, she's I, very blingy she's gonna be smiling we're all gonna be she smiling is. we can't wait to see you dance tonight we really Thank appreciate you. you coming up before you guys because i know you've got the, head, the mindset by the way i Take love i love this i love this romeo and juliet moment right now this is yeah. so great oh yeah he's up in the skybox it is, oh, it is so sweet. There's a lot of engagement love wonderful. going on on the show so at the much. moment. Right? We've got Ryan, so, we've got so Tash. It's wonderful. And Ryan Lofty just got engaged. Yeah, I'm I know. Yeah. I mean, I'm on my here. third and final husband, and he's here every <laughs> week. But, you know. Well, look, thanks, guys, for coming up. Thank you can keep you. the straws. You're the all-access straws. We love okay. having you up here. Thank you. Best of luck tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get a photo with the straws. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you we'll guys. play them out with the All Access so Orchestra. Thanks, Lulu. Good luck tonight. And thank you, Derek, as always.
And look, yes, thank you to our audience here for that incredible emotional clap. Uh, and what it means now is that we're going to now welcome our wonderful co-host. And as we do, let's just congratulate her one more time about this incredible engagement. Get on in here as we see this. Look at this smile. Mwah. Congratulations. We've set it off camera, but now we can say it to our wonderful audience out there. Everyone at home has been sending you so much love. They have. Thank you so uh, much, guys. And we're not going to get too deep into it right now because we're going to save that for the post show when we've got our boy Sash up here as well. But yes. congratulations. Thank you so There's much. There's something in the water. Like now Ryan's doing it. Who Ryan's knows what's doing it? I think everybody is just so happy and romantic and in love here. And, um, and wow, that was just the most special day of my life. And it meant so much to me that. What people don't know is Sasha actually, I mean, we'll talk, talk about this later, yeah, yeah. but he rang my dad and my parents in England were able to watch and his folks in Australia were able to watch. So it was like family. Worldwide, was man. It. it was a worldwide it engagement. Was. We're, we're going to get into that. In fact, we're getting some incredible questions from you guys already. So keep them oh, coming yeah. at DWTS All Access. Anything you want to know yes. about the experience. And, and wow, and you were saying before, the actual clip has already had, what, over 4 million? The whip clip. It's crazy. It's had over 4, 4 million. million. And Sasha and I were at home. We're like, gosh, this is crazy how that just went viral. Yeah. Um, could, but there you have it. It's, it's, it's very real love. And I think it tonight is. is all about emotion. We saw yeah. that emotion with you guys last yeah. Week, but tonight it is about the emotion of these celebs. Yes. Why is it that this week is so important to whether or not you can win the Mirrorball? Because I think that we know these celebrities, yes. but not quite like this. Yeah. Well, I've always said from the start, you do, you do not vote with your phones. I mean that metaphorically. People vote with their hearts, okay? You know, you vote for the people that you love and that you really connect to and relate to. And this week is really about what makes these celebrities them. You know, strip back of all that, like, you know, success or, or those hardships. This is telling the story about why each of them are the way they are. And so you really get to know who they are. Like Maureen, for instance, just danced and she was telling us um, her most memorable year is uh, 1985, which I'm sure quite a few of you have, have never seen that year, <laughs> um, but 1985 was was the year that she, her husband, um, she was going through a really difficult time, and her husband got her through all of that, and she just dedicated that beautiful, stunning foxtrot to him, and he's, I think he's actually on the show right now, her husband. So yeah. it, it means so much to be able to tell those stories. I know that you watched the dress as did yeah. I, and I think that some of the dancers tonight are by far the best dancers these yes. guys have done like because yeah. because it's that emotion yes. because they're pulling on something they're doing it for someone else in they're some pulling ways. on the old heart strings. yeah but they're almost doing it for someone else they are. she wants to do it for her husband exactly. and that just adds so much value there's so much at stake and then when you add it to a real real reason behind your dance you know the reason why dancers dance is because they feel something these celebrities are now they're going through that um it's, it's amazing this week is really top for everybody well look it's going to be exciting to have emma here all night long uh, if you've got any questions or you just want to know what it's like to be here and, and, and experience tonight then let us know at Thank dwts you. all access emma why don't you go and talk to the yes, guys i'm gonna go keep and tweet. them coming in and we yeah. are going to welcome our next guests here let's let's play them in Thank you, the All Access Orchestra. Look at these guys, they're everywhere. Which means we are now going to be joined by the one and only Amber Rose. Amber, look at you, looking fabulous. Mwah, mwah. That is an outfit. This, this kind of goes with them. Woo. As, as always... My little skirt. A, as always, it is, is a pleasure to have you guys up here. But I think this more than any other week, we're doing this for Sebastian. Yes. Uh, and... How does that? that how does that help? W in what way does that motivate you to do a better dance than you've ever done before? Um, well, I know my little boys. At, excuse me, I'm a little sick today, but um, I know my little boys at home watching. Um, my dance is for him. It's also for all the mothers, all the women out there. It's a, a women empowerment song as well. So um, yeah, it's very important. I mean, it's my whole movement, and it's my little baby. So it's it's extremely important to me. Well, we, I just watched the dress rehearsal, Max, and I think a lot of the celebs are their best dancers of the season. Well, why do you think it is that this emotional week brings out the best in these guys? There's like a bigger, I guess, reason to do this. You know, it's not um, it's not just a dance that I learned, but it's also like a sort of reflection on, on, of, of what it is that the package is about. Um, in Ember's case, we, you know, we have a... We have difficulties with some things that 
she consistently overcomes and I think it tells a lot about her as a person and I hope that this you know this dance will show it because it's hard for us and you know what I mean but we're still tackling it and she's coming out on on on, on top and as far as I'm concerned um, Thanks, man. and then for everybody else uh, this is the week that you know it means a lot you know I think I think this week has become you know we have a lot of themes but some stick some we change every other season this is the one that stays on from I think since the beginning yeah um, and I think because a lot of audience we relate to uh, what celebrities went through and especially in Ember's in Ember's case this is a very um, powerful message well look you know Max mentioned that there there are things that you're trying to overcome week to week these guys are, are the super fans of this show so I'd love to be able to bring them into what are the things that you are really wanting to work on that you are struggling on week to week you know that that vulnerability um uh, well it's not no I, you know it's more so my fitness um i got really thick legs i got a lot of booty and a lot of hips and a lot of body and it takes a lot to move that around you know <laughs> and i'm learning how to be faster with my legs and you know try to shoot them out and make it look nice without you know being in slow motion i feel like that's like the biggest thing that I, I need to work on is my fitness but i feel like i've been getting better every week yeah no we needed to uh we needed to show everybody that we're not trying to skate by on things that are comfortable yeah you know because i think that that was the general talk so we uh have a very full <laughs> <laughs> you want some water? You're okay? At the worst time. You good? Yeah, I'm okay. No, well, look, first of all, we want to say... This is the one where I wish we had, like, a table and a, and a slow dance. Yeah. yeah. And we, we so appreciate you even coming up here because I know that the mindset, you get it in the game. And I think that's what everyone loves about Amber. And I know that these guys do is that honesty and that truth. Mm -hmm. uh, and Thank you. Yeah, for, for you, Max, to be able to try and pull that out and bring that out, uh, it's not, I mean, it feels like there was a turning point after the big booty dance, and it, it feels like there's a corner that's been turned. What, what are you saying to her off camera, behind closed doors? <laughs> <laughs> what am I Amber, not? <laughs> I'm so happy, like, you're in my life, and you're my best friend, and you're absolutely gorgeous. All of those. All of those. All of those. Is, all no, of that, those that's it. That's perfect. It's word for word what he's saying, right? <laughs> no, no he, he really is. I mean, and he's like he became like a big brother to me and um you know he just um he's just a great guy he just encourages me and he tells me i can do it even though when things things get hard and even um, if he's given you feedback it feels like you know he wants the best for you out there of course yeah. i mean listen it gets very frustrating because he's a professional dancer and i'm not so he's just like why can't you do this simple step and i don't know how to but I never take it personal because you know this is my guy and we just work it out we figure it out and we just you know try to I try to do my best well we, we've got to send you off now we really thank you for coming up but for remember sure. that people don't vote with their phones they vote with their hearts and as yes. long as people can see that you're, <laughs> that you're trying that I think that's what makes them pick up the phone so the fact that she's even come up here can we get an air horn can we get an applause we love you Emma thanks for coming up and she's sick so make sure that you I'm vote. I'm going to do the samba while I'm sick, Thank you, you Max. Bye. Thanks, Amber. Thanks for coming up. Uh, and there you go. That is the commitment here from Amber. Uh, on a week that there is a lot of emotion involved, you can see there she's, uh, she's struggling with a little bit of sickness, quite a bad cough, but she has got the, the best man in her corner with Max to, to really help her through. And I guess Amber, the first question is, look, wow, Amber's really sick. She's not 100%. She yes. She's got a really bad so cough and a cold. Burke. Yeah, so that's got to make this week even harder. It does. You know what? It affects your hearing. And honestly, it being sick affects your hearing. It affects your balance probably the most because you're disorientated. But, you know, when, you, when your sinuses are all like, what's going on? You can't keep a balance and it's hard to really look for your partner. So well, I look, feel for her. We'll, we'll get on to that when we get Amber out there on the floor and talk about it. But now just circling back round to, to, to the guys we're seeing now. Yeah. Uh, we've got Calvin and Lindsay. Calvin and Lindsay. Uh, and, and I guess it's, it's, it's not so much emotional for him. This guy is one of the best NFL players ever to walk the earth. We're talking about him breaking Jerry Rice's records. Like yes. this guy is a complete rock star. How do you bring that story and how do you give that story emotion? Um, 
I think this is more of an upbeat emotion. Everything has an emotion, whether it, it doesn't have to be sad to be emotional. This is very uplifting. I had the pleasure of seeing this dance uh, camera block on Sunday, and it is absolutely marvelous. Again, it's jam packed full of lifts. It's, it makes but you smile. Of, yeah, it's, it, a, it's, it's fun. It is. It's very uplifting. There's a lot of opportunity for it to go wrong, though. I will say that. Um, I, I really hope it doesn't. Um, but there's, there's some amazing lifts in there, and Calvin. We were watching him earlier, actually. His face is now getting into that. So there's a difference between dancing and being um, kind of not there, present. And then when you get into it, you kind of get yeah. that scrunchy, and I think, scrunchy face. I think there's a confidence that's coming week to week when he's watching the show back and he's kind of going, I can do this. He's given Ex himself permission. Exactly. You know? Exactly. The, uh, week five now, we're, we're almost halfway through. You're bitten by the bug. You're you're entertaining the sort of like, oh, I can actually do that. And you can see, can't you? Like, he's really yeah into it he's as vibrant as his blue jacket right now and she's being lifted in the yeah. air but i can't tell you what an absolutely amazing man this guy is he's so genuine um all he, he's a very good listener he always asks how your day is and he genuinely wants to know he's a very solid guy Woo! and this is just amazing stuff you guys have to watch this it's incredible yeah, look, we are getting so much love from, from you guys as well. Yes. Uh, I think that this guy has a, a huge fan base that is growing. Uh, and maybe people that haven't seen him on the, on the field that are now seeing him on the ballroom and going, man, this guy's got a cool energy about this him. This guy is good on the field, is good on the ballroom. And Jerry Rice wow. is in the building. A big surprise. He wasn't there for the Unbelievable. Wow. Mr. Jerry Rice, who I had the pleasure of dancing with, has just graced the ballroom. From, and he's just from giving what I hear, waves. there are a few surprises on the way tonight, and that is yes. a big one right yes. there. Um, so obviously, Calvin Johnson smashed Jerry Rice's record, and that's what his most memorable year is all about. And, um, and then uh, it was really memorable just then because Jerry, uh, Lindsay choreographed it so that he actually like threw the ball that Calvin Jerry's catched. getting a bit of a Jerry, Jerry chant going on right Jerry. here. He's loving it. He's getting a chance. And look I at that it. smile on Calvin's face right now. I, I mean, for him to have this experience and share it with probably his idol in that way is, yes. is got to be a trip. Yeah. We are now going to get these two guys in. Emma, Absolutely. you're going to kind of step up. You're going to stay I'm here for the throw to the main show. Fabulous. But we're going to get... Don't go too far away, Emma. While we welcome, please welcome Tara and Sasha. Look at these guys. It feels so weird to be sitting before you guys now. Not dressed as a clown, Sash. Dressed in my normal clothes. You look fabulous. Yeah, it's it's kind of it's a trip. And right now, as 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 we have Jerry and we have Calvin, just quickly, Sash, we've got to talk. Can we just let's all just have it's a bit of a congratulations party all to right. the engaged? Look at the engaged Round couple over here. Just we have the footage. Look at this. And, and look at this, man. It's happening. Couldn't Unbelievable. How many times have you oh. seen this, Sash? Now, I don't even want to know. But I guess we're going to talk to these guys a little later in our post show. For you, Tara, when did you find out? When did you know that this engagement was going down? Was as soon like, as I bought the ring. Yeah, a few weeks prior. Did you? Yeah, what? I showed her. Look at this. This is an All Access exclusive. Exclusive. What? Exclusive. So did you, did you just, like, show Tara? But what did you say? Did you like it? I loved it. Okay, I think it's good. so incredibly beautiful. Oh, thank and, you, Tara. It's gorgeous. Thank you. I really, really love it. I mean, something's Every in the water here at Dancing with the Stars. Ryan's now getting engaged. I know. Unbelievable, You're right? next, buddy. I know, right? Got to just find you, you a girl. Find yeah. <laughs> you, come over here. You. No, not you. you. Crickets. Get crickets. Play the crickets. <laughs> hey, that's not funny, Emma. Oh, yes. Got it. Yes, okay with the All crickets. Right. Thanks. There it is. You're fired. You're fired. I can't do that. <laughs> anyway, this point in the competition wow, is really a lot of emotion, okay? Yes. I guess everyone's kind of, I think the dress rehearsal was the best for every celeb because they're able to pull on something. So for you, I think yours is a, a really uh, inspiring story. So when you have that to pull on, how much easier does it make it? Um, it makes it actually harder because you want to be connected to the song, but you don't want to be like a blubbering mess while you're performing. All right, guys, look, look, we're over here on the main show now. Woo! It is about Emma, these two, the love, so much love. Uh, and amazing. Uh, Look at that. We, you guys nailed that. Just Absolutely kiss nailed the mic. it. <laughs> yeah, wow. no, it didn't really so Emma, Emma, Emma will be back a little later on with yeah. the post show. So yeah. don't worry. You can sexual. just. You want to give her a goodbye kiss though? Yeah, again. Unbelievable. Aww. Goodbye kiss. Do you want and lipstick on now. It's gonna be. No, you look amazing. <laughs> All right, Tara. So, so just jump back in there. W you, I totally understand it, and and for for the show and how important it is to you and this whole story for you. How do you then ride that line to not turn into a mess? Um. Honestly, like. 
I mean, this whole week has been really hard for me, so I really try and just stay focused on what emotion I do want to go into the song, because I do want to tell a story, and um, I'm, I need to stay in the zone ahead of time. I'm going to be distracting her a lot I, when the package is those playing. Give me, give me your number one really distraction. You, you, I know. You in the past, you've, you see pros, and they're just like covering ears and eyes. And that's what like, I'm planning on doing. Yeah, they don't you near You it. don't want to hear my distraction. <laughs> He's going to give me like a strip tease or something. Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay, this is another, oh, that says exclusive. We're going to see Sash strip go. Okay, that's when you do the cricket. Yeah, come on, Sash. <laughs> All right. Seriously, though, let's talk Little Woman for uh, because I think He's that... He's stuttering there. That, that, well, I'm, getting so, I'm thinking about the show, and I know that you're not only on the show, you're a producer, you're a creator, you're involved in so many cap capacity. What is it about making that show, and what story did you want to tell that you felt wasn't out there? Um, honestly, that, like, this part of my life has never been on the show. And I feel like that year that all of this happened, it was a, a really magical year at the same time that it was a really hard year. And so hopefully people can learn more about myself and being different, not only through Little Women, but also through dancing. Well, I think um, th there's so much emotion involved in the show. So I want to quickly go to Sash as well, because we've got your side of it. Your most memorable year, Sash. Would it be right now? If I would it be, be this year. Would it be this year? Because you're engaged. I'd have to say this is probably my most memorable year. And he has his favorite partner ever. Because I, I mean, do you feel, Sasha? I mean, you've had some incredible partners on the show, and of course, she's sitting right here, so you, you probably can say. But feels that you guys have this real bond, and it's growing, and you guys are doing so well. So no, I don't want to say is this your favorite partner, but you know what I mean. Are you? <laughs> Listen, we've still got a dance. What are you trying to do here? <laughs> Just say yes, okay? All access exclusive. <laughs> exclusive. <laughs> Nobody no, will know. No, What's your seriously. Answer? I mean, she definitely is. We have a lot of fun, and this week I, I tell her in particular, you know, like it's going to be very emotional and it's going to be very, very hard, but to just contain it and I tell her this week isn't a isn't a competition she's not competing this week I I want I wanted to feel like she is do, doing a tribute and she's doing a special performance and this one more time that you know she gets to be there feel it touch it and I tell her like it's gonna be the three of us out there he does that doesn't always make it easy. Yeah, I know. Even saying it now, as, as you know, I can feel that that would be very emotional for someone to have to kind of park that and put it into a dance, but still do a good dance that you want to get good yeah. scores on, right? Definitely. Yeah, well, look, we, we've got a lot of support, I think, from everyone up here. We, we know you guys yeah. are going to do well. These guys here have been sitting in a few questions. I think there's one question which we'll go to just quickly. Uh, I think we've got some... I some... see a question. I don't see a question. Yeah, no, it's, it's in my head. Question? No question. Oh, there question, we go. No look. Question. Um, no, it's just dance. <laughs> That's my husband's dance. Joe, your husband, he's, he's got the most. I'm moves. putting him on blast right now. Are you uh, helping him through that in some way? She Are will Are you after, taking huh? him like and going, look, that's not going to work. We're going to need to switch this up. <laughs> nope, it's fine with me. I'm okay with it. Yeah, I mean, in some ways, that's kind of a good move. It's, it's his own it's style, right? He likes to keep it, keep it low. Keep it low? <laughs> Rocking it? All right, well, look. Keeping um, it low. Thanks, thanks, guys, for coming hey, up. Hey, thanks for having us. Thanks. No worries. Thank you. Want to hear the most annoying noise yes. ever? Okay, yeah. Ready? ready? Yeah. On three, two, one. I'll press okay. the button. Let's okay, just ready? Three, three. two. Yeah. Wow, that is incredible. Huh? Huh? I mean, if that doesn't get the I mean, voting. if you guys don't vote for the dance, if you don't vote, vote for, for the noise. noise. Oh, no, to not do the noise or to vote for the noise? I'm not <laughs> right, sure. Just please I'm vote. Sure. Please, please, please. Okay, please vote. Please vote. Of course, uh, an emotional week. No one wants to leave tonight. Oh, so thank you guys so much for coming. And, and Sash, we'll see you a little up. later on for our um, engagement Q&A extravaganza. <laughs> There's a lot of questions that are coming in, guys. Okay, so send them. Keep them, keep keep them coming, coming for Sash and for Emma. And Terry's going to kill it tonight. Thank you. Thank okay, you look, we've got music to play you out. That's the All Access Orchestra. Wave to the guys. Love you, brother. Kill it. Kill it out there. And look, they are kissing off camera. They are kissing there. Tara, they are kissing. A lot of kissing going on. All right. So right now, wow. And you can really feel the night tonight. Emma, I guess it's, yeah.
hair. I mean, yeah, well, look, she was sort of saying uh, the struggle for her is to not blubber and to not see that package. I yeah. mean, Sasha's going to try and distract her to not see it. And I've seen in the past, I remember distinctly looking down with Bindi and Derek, and he was just, do not watch this huge... on this week. Remember this week with Bindi? I mean, yeah. it was... Yeah. yeah, especially this week, you're right, it's a huge problem because um, before you dance, uh, you are allowed to see what the audience sees at home, which is that emotional package about why you're doing this dance. And uh, of course, if it gets everybody at home crying, it's gonna make you cry. And being in that place when you're about to perform, um, it, for a very few talented people, it can really help. But for most people, you, it, it just goes, poof, you know, so you really need to stay focused and block out that emotion because uh, otherwise you'll, you'll forget you dance, you'll space out. Well, look, Jana and Glib are getting ready right now. We yes. uh, downstairs are watching their package. Uh, what Emma was talking about, that emotional thing. You can see they've turned the lights out yes. in preparation for the dance. It is a very soft, quiet performance from can these guys. Can you see what's it? going on here? Like, can you see this big screen with a countdown? So you're standing on the ballroom floor and you're with your partner and you're saying, let's do this. Like, we come on, Dom, we got don't, this. Don't listen to this. Don't, don't listen, listen to the to, package. And I'm going, don't listen don't to the package. Listen. But right now, Jana is listening to that package of her talking about her daughter and why she's doing this and she's gonna be tearing up if Gleb isn't uh, look, there with her hands on her ears. And, and what you're just seeing there as well is her mum being interviewed. Now it's one thing yeah. for the celeb to see themselves, then they see their brother, their family, their mum. And they have no idea. And they don't know what yeah. they're gonna say. It's hard not to get caught up in the emotion. And Absolutely. then you ask, you're asking these guys to two seconds after they're taking that in to dance. Yeah. But it can wow. be very, very powerful watching a package like this and then the energy in the ball, I'm just going, Phoom. and then all eyes are on them and she has the power to turn that emotion and run with it and make that into the most spectacular dance. Because when you have that behind you, you can make it an amazing dance. Have you, you know, not to even go there, but have you seen someone where the emotion gets too much? And oh it, yes, and absolutely. It, and it kind of falls over? Absolutely. Oh. Um, never quite fall over, but you can certainly see over. that it's kind of overwhelmed them. It used to affect Bill Engvall a lot. My first partner, um, seasons ago, if he would hear uh, an interview of his wife being uh, interviewed, if he could hear it before he danced, um, it, it would make him tear up, and then he would have to very quickly like bring it back for the dance. But it would noticeably affect him. And you'd have to then, and then be you very... Just have to go Come on, Argentine tango. Get yeah. back into it, back into it. Uh, and, and that's, the, the, as much as it is, uh, it's one foot in front of the other, it's one dance yes. and then move on to the next yes, week. I know absolutely. that you've got to take off. You're going down. I do, I've got a number right after now. this, so I'm yeah, excited. Emma's going to be out there dancing. Okay, okay so wave, later. you can kind of see. I promise I'll you wave. she's I'll waving. Wait you yeah. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, such insight there, I guess, to what goes on uh, behind the scenes here on the show. Uh, and it's so incredible to have Emma here to kind of give us some to, to let us know and, and, and give us that indication of what the pros have to do to keep the celebrities from getting overwhelmed. And we just heard from, from Tara there, she's really talking about just not being a blubbering mess in the face of having to do a dance that's dedicated. And, and it's such an important story that she's telling, I think, probably for the first time here tonight. So, so many times over the years, this week of the show, we learned things about these celebrities that we never knew. They were in no books or websites for the very first time we're, we're, we're I guess learning a side of them that they're not even sure they wanted to share but I think when they do they open themselves up and make themselves vulnerable and I think that's what people love uh, is to really get a sense of who these celebs are and we are we, we have all sorts of fantastic people up here on Dancing with the Stars uh, All Access and and right now we're going to be joined by one of the stars of one of our favorite ABC shows uh, and it gives me great pleasure to welcome from once upon a time Karen David how are you Mark Ma, I got you a bedazzled set here we turned the lights on just in case so we wanted to see you it, it is bling. We I gave you the bling mask. This. First of all, welcome to All Access. Thank you so much. And you picked an incredible week to come because because this is the week that you get to learn something about these celebs that you really didn't know. I mean, yeah. we all know the sportsman or we know the actress, <laughs> but we're getting to see these incredible emotional stories. I mean, when you think about putting yourself in that situation, and it doesn't have to be the dark part of it, but it's something inside you where yeah. you don't really share it in a public domain and then having to dance 
I mean, how scary does that make you feel? It's so beautiful and so vulnerable. I mean, I was I was so teary sitting out there with my mum and just listening to these so stories and the courage and just, you know, bringing that beautiful vulnerability and, and the enthusiasm for, you know, the beautiful dances that they are. It's yeah, just so amazing. And even sharing tonight with your mum is, yeah. is just a cool thing. I well, mean, it's you know. my mum's birthday week, so she was coming to visit me over here in LA and um, I had a few days off from Once Upon a Time, so I thought, I want to bring her see Dancing with the Stars and she's so excited. It's made her a whole year. Yeah, I know. My parents, once as well, when they come into town, this is the, the first stop that they want to go to. And it really is. Look, it's an incredible experience to be here. You mentioned the show, the fantastic show that you're on. You, of course, play Jasmine on the show. Sorry. <laughs> Which means you've got J Jafar. Look, I once played Jafar. Look, there, that's me. Can oh you see? God. So I'm, I'm always, I'm always looking for new opportunities. Uh -huh. I mean, how, what do you think of my Jafar? I mean, you, it's pretty. You give good Jafar. Um, sometimes they put me in silly costumes. You see, I don't know why. But but, but you, you, you're rocking it. I mean, you yeah. look amazing. Yeah. I think you should come on to the uh, show. Really? A guest yeah. spot? You can make that happen. You can ride on the magic carpet. Well, look, if I us. come on your show, you'll have to come on our show. Would you do this Dancing <laughs> with the Stars? I mean, come on. <laughs> I would love to if they have the patience for me. You know. Yeah, I two think. Two to the right. Yeah. Two to the left. I think it's one of those things that you have no idea how you're going to go until you go. You know what? I, mean? I can't even imagine what must go on in their heads just about, you know, just as they're going on to perform in front of yeah. millions and millions of people. For the very first time, even someone like Vanilla Ice, who I thought would, would, would yeah. be, I'm fine, I've danced my whole life. He was like, I can't, I just, it is so much work. Yeah. It is so much harder than you think. And that's why that feeling of family um, is so important oh, here. Oh, you, you can feel it. You Absolutely. can feel the camaraderie and all that and um, the energy and everyone's so supportive, even within the audience and everything, everyone's cheering for each other. Um, it's, it's such a great atmosphere. Well, look, working on the show that you work on, too, uh, you, how do you put your spin on something that is so well known that um, people really have such a fondness with? In so many ways, that's got to be a bit scary itself, oh, right? it's petrifying. You know, Jasmine is such a beloved and iconic character. And, uh, you know, I told the fans when the announcement came out, you know, I don't take it lightly. And uh, it's such an honor to play Jasmine. And I only hope that uh, I do her justice and make all the fans happy. You yeah, well, look, I mean, the fans love it. They love you. <laughs> look. There's, a, there's a lot of support, I think. Yeah, look, we've got an air horn guy. Yeah. We've got an air horn player. He's here somewhere. Uh, he just comes out sometimes and gets a little crazy. Uh, who, are you, who are you throwing your support behind? I mean, I know it's hard at this point of the competition to come and actually say, look, that's who I would love to see win this. Oh, my uh, Because gosh. we have so many people and so many great stories. I mean, you look at Laurie, of course, incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Then you look at Tara, yeah. incredible. Such stories of... I don't know, just the, the, the spirit that they bring to the show. Uh, this is, and I promise you, it's not me copping out. It's just seeing even the first few performances now, all of them are so special. They bring their individuality and, and their stamp to what they're, it's, there's something so special about each of the contestants. So I'm finding it really hard. Yes. I just want all of them to win. Can't they all win? Well, look, I mean, it, it's it's hard. <laughs> You're allowed to vote 12 times, I think. Am I? That's yeah, good to know. so everyone good is. So you can kind of <laughs> spread the wealth a little bit, right? That's what I, but that's what I tend to do. That's yeah. a smart play, you know. <laughs> then you're, not, you're kind of not backing anyone, but you're kind of backing a few of them, right? Yeah, yeah. There's uh, a few. I, I think There's that, few. you know, being inside this world, and, and, and each week we do it and we bring you in as well, it, it's, it feels very special. And can you feel that energy when you come in here on a night like tonight? This is the first time that I'm here live and, and I'm just soaking up the whole energy and the atmosphere. It is, it is, it's so special. It's, it's when you're here in the room, you can just feel the good vibes. And like I said, that camaraderie, everyone cheering each other but on. But even look, what's happening right now, you know, you can go and take a look if you, if you want to look around the other cameras. We can see that the, the set people, the, the, this huge production, and I know you work in, in an environment as well that has 20, two, 300 people, right, yeah. putting the thing together. This is live. Yeah. You know, these guys are all, they've got literally two or three minutes uh, to, to, to put that round. As far as in your world, yes. how much does this impress you? Oh, my. <laughs> you know, this is within seconds. I mean, we have time to prepare and prep, so we know what's going on. But um, the, it's so fast paced. I mean, mucho props <laughs> yeah. to all of them because they're really superheroes, they what they're doing. I know. We, we love our crew here on Dancing with the Stars. Across the board, we have, I think, the best crew in the business. Y you're, uh, you've had an incredible career up till now. We're talking most memorable year when do you think it would be for you if you look back like what's the year that you're like wow okay if i was on the show this is the story they'd tell oh gosh you know um i come from a very humble family 
Uh, my parents uh, immigrated to North America with only $20 to their name. And they've been, my father frames that $20 that he still kept because he wants it as a reminder to my older sister and I that, you know, with hard work and having a good attitude on your shoulders and treating people the way you want to be treated, you know, and dreaming big. Working hard, you know, nothing is impossible. So I, you know, every year has been a gift because I'm so fortunate to have amazing people in my life with my family, with my work colleagues. This year has been incredible. I mean, to go from doing um, Gallivant uh, and then doing another show back in England, Cold Feet, and then now doing Once Upon a Time. I mean, this is a childhood dream come true for me to play Jasmine. I never thought in a million years when I was a little girl that um, one day I'd be playing this iconic princess and it's it's truly an honor and it's all kind of rounded up by the fact that now you're on all access on dancing with the stars <laughs> I know. I mean, that is, this is that such is an a, honor it's, it's huge i mean i think if you retire after this everyone will totally get it really? <laughs> uh, if you're at your parents house though and you want to buy a pizza you wouldn't take that 20. No, trust me, <laughs> trust me. Growing up, I was so tempted. My dad's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> like, That's on, on the wall Dad. framed Give for a 20, reason. <laughs> 320 cash. You know, they like to keep us grounded, you know. So. Well, I'm sure if you were dancing, <laughs> they would be here. And you, obviously, you've got your mum here tonight. Yeah. Dad would be here cheering you on. They would. And it, yeah. I think it's so, and that's why we love having people up here to talk about outside their career. I think it's 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 got to be great. You know, you kind of get to show a side of yourself that, yeah. But as an actress, is that tough sometimes to kind of go outside of the box of the character you are and sort of give a view? Oh, gosh, you know what I mean? That's, that's, that's what we find with the act actors and actresses. Is it, it's, that can be really hard. You're not hiding behind anything. It's it's you, full frontal, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> full frontal, full okay, frontal, wow, you know, okay. Uh, it's, and you do feel kind of exposed and, and naked in a way but then that's when you just have to be yourself because you are who you are and I think as each year goes by you start to realize that you know my dad's always told my sister and I love yourself because we are our own worst enemies and our own best friends we and love you just, your dad you know? up here at all actually he sounds like a good dude <laughs> he's a cool dad oh man ask him if I can borrow 20 bucks <laughs> no no we we we, we love getting to know people we really appreciate you coming up and obviously we, we don't want to take you away from this incredible experience so you go find mum give her my love thank you uh, give, uh, give her a, a big cuddle for us uh, and thank you for coming up uh, and let's have a big round of applause please now <laughs> make sure you watch all of the shows you've got going on unbelievable once, once upon, upon a, time, a time though is the most important Sunday, to check yes. out right now <laughs> Sunday on, of course on ABC and thank you so much for coming up thanks for having mwah, me mwah, 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 mwah. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Karen, thank you. Thank Big you. round of applause. Think of her now, watching the show now with mum. Hey, thank you. Yes, I am from New Zealand. Would you believe it? I, I, I know, and here I am. What am I doing here? Uh, but we are having such an incredible night, and I guess it's really great to get to know. Karen, I mean, yeah, we're really getting to know all of our celebrities tonight. Uh, and... If you want to get to know our pros a little bit better, the best way to do that would be to head to the Dancing with the Stars tour. We're going to get back into the show very soon. Emma is on her way up right now. You can hear that noise. That's Emma on the main show. I can see her right now dancing. She's given us, there it is. She just gave us a wave. So to get you excited for the tour and make sure you go and get your tickets, this thing sells out every single season. Take a look at this. Let me tell you well, for someone who has experienced that tour, what an incredible night it is, guys. You've got to check it out. Uh, DWTSTour.com.
that is where you head for those tickets and trust me they do sell out so wherever you are in the country there's a lot of places they're hitting for the first time make sure you get your tickets and head along and support the family support all your favorite uh, pros they're all going to be there so uh, thank you so much Rudy for your support and thank you for the great questions tonight tonight I think really is from a, from a crew point of view the show that we really love the most the week that we feel that we can ask anything we can ask your questions you can get to know these guys outside of the thing that they do you know whether it be uh, on on the football field or in the theatre or Ryan who we see right now what an incredible year he has had now he is really one of the most impressive most medaled swimmer ever in US swimming history uh, and we can see right now this is the dance that Cheryl has put together for him but certainly he's had his struggles over the last three or four months and I think he is rebuilding and he's doing it with your support and I think over the last couple of weeks what we have seen is a guy that is really just trying he's trying to put it back together uh, and he's trying to win over your support and I think he's doing an incredible job of that there's obviously a, a, a bit of a groundswell supporting this guy so you know on behalf of him and, and the Dancing with the Stars family we want to thank you for getting behind uh, all of our celebs but especially Ryan yeah, if you haven't seen what's happening here on the screen right now, it's what we call the wide. It's what the director looks at and the props and, and, and all of the guys to put together the performances and the dances that you see each week on the show. But this week, more than any other week, is so tough for these guys. We just heard Tara, and what she said to us is, I think, a really great way to sum it up. It's just hard to not let the motion get in touch too much. And, and I think that's the line that you need to ride because you really need to make it all about that emotion uh, and really show it on the dance floor but then you've also got to keep it together enough to put together a, a great dance it's been a tough week for Ryan as well his mother has been in Florida uh, dealing with Hurricane Matthew we're just talking Ryan uh, so he has really been in some ways a little distracted this week, yes, worrying yeah. about his mum uh, and, and worrying that she's okay. Yeah, and, I, and we were talking about that. Yeah, not only that, we're dealing with a guy who's had, uh, you know, an interesting last three or four months. So he's had a lot going on, yeah. uh, but I think he's done such an incredible job of showing us who the real him is. And week to week, I think we're getting to know exactly who he is, and that's why he's here because it's somewhat of a groundswell of support. <laughs> so much, yeah. This this year, it's hard for this year to have not been the most memorable year for him because so many things have happened, and that's exactly what he said. Um, but and I think that he wanted to not prove something by going on the show, but he wanted to actually give people a, a very real uh, account of who he is and, uh, and I really respect him because he's still here and it's week five so he's doing something right and, uh, and now we see a very nice raw contemporary where he's putting his heart on his sleeve and people get a chance to see a little bit more of him. Well, yeah, look, we talk about it up here. You know, no one would want to be judged on their worst day. Everyone makes mistakes. No. And so we're seeing the true guy, the, the, the full man uh, and contemporary it feels like he's doing a great performance, but what, what, what makes this a good way for you to really show some emotion? Well, contemporary is one of the, I would say, one of the most easiest dances to to show that emotion, which is why there's a few contemporary dancers tonight on the show. Um, it, it's very, it's very much about inner feeling. So contemporary isn't about, is about um, uh, sending the energy out. It's about bringing the energy in, if that makes sense. So it's all, it's all inner. So it's, it's exactly related to your emotions because you dance the way you feel. Um, so it's easy to get wrapped up in into uh, these dances. What I will say about this. Because we haven't really spoken much about the dancing tonight is I do kind of feel for me this song choice is a little strange it's a little heavy um, and I, I kind of thought that it would be a little bit more I don't know a little bit more uh, tiny a little bit more upbeat but that, that was just me well look we just saw there Ryan some sort of almost doing a bit of acting at the end yeah. there, looking off into nowhere yeah thinking about something yeah uh, so maybe the song I guess is kind of that was the mindset it was like let's not make exactly. it about the song let's and just try and put Ryan at the front of it because I know what you mean yeah and that's not to say that that song doesn't have a particular meaning to him it's just my personal preference I was like oh it's a very heavy song um, I, I think I would have liked him to dance a little bit more uplifting I like that side of him I think he's a naturally very happy person and uh, um, and yeah, that's what that's what I like to see. Well, like of course, at the start of this season, that was the main 
thing people would come up and ask. It's like, Ryan, he's on the show. Wow, what's going on with him and all the things that is going on. You, you take that emotion and then you say, hey, you're going to have to learn a dance every week in three or four days. You've got yeah. all this pressure. Yeah. But then you've also, he knows that there's this thing that's happening over here. Yeah. It's, he's doing incredibly well. And he's I think that is down great. to Cheryl keeping him focused exactly. week to week on the dance. And, and of course, his fiance must be watching this. He just got engaged yesterday. Yes. So I'm sure he wants to do really well for her too. So much at stake, people. So many like people getting engaged. Real people, <laughs> like dancing there, uh, dancing on stage. And they have so much running through their heads that, that you really have that one and a half minutes just to get it like exactly right and, and, and do it exactly the way you've rehearsed it. And if emotions come into it, which is very risky on this week that it could all go down the swanee yeah and and then it also could be lifted to heights where you absolutely feel it and again i know we we spoke of this before but with bindi and derek and that dance for her dad it got really emotional it but did. i think it was almost the dance that won her the competition because absolutely. no one that was watching that didn't feel the, the pain that she was going through absolutely. and it just they fell in love with her their hearts broke for her i think yeah. I was up here, I think, with Kim, and she was crying. It was so hard not to yeah. get very invested in Bindi after that. So yeah, that's why absolutely. this week is so important. But look, the struggle then is some of the guys are just celebrating their career successes. Yeah. And, and it's how do you make that as, as, as powerful as... Well, is there some of these emotive stories? I like the emotional ones. I like I like to feel that. I like to go deep and really like dig deep. But these um, these these more joyous, uplifting ones, um, they're the type of thing that I think if you get people smiling at home and if you get people moving along to the dance and actually feeling it, it's all about believing in it, it believing in yourself when you dance. It's all about that confidence because if you have that confidence and you uh, can make somebody else have that confidence in you, that's that's the key. It's about making the people at home like loving what you're doing, like really into it, whether that's crying along with you or smiling and cheering along with you. It, you have to get that message across. You, w you want them to invest. Exactly. It's ex exactly what you said. We, we want them to invest. And the when you're in danger is when you do a dance that's neither, um, you know, it's not relatable and somebody at home can't quite um, sympathize with you or they can't feel happy with you. If they can't feel anything for what you're doing, then that's the danger zone. Yeah, and I guess that is all down to the pro to ride that line. We, yeah. we, when Tara was up here, she's like, I'm going to be a bl 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 blumbering mess. And you could see what? Sash was like, I'm just going to make her not watch the package and yes. I'm going to just keep it together. But I also, by the same rationale, want that emotion. Exactly, so exactly. But the, here's the thing. Here's what I think personally is if people are at home and they're watching the package and they know what the dance is about, um, magically they will... Um, they will be invested so if say for instance Tara if she was to watch her package and then get emotional and then the dance wouldn't go so well it would it would be very bad yeah. but if she wasn't to watch the package but the viewers at home watch she could still dance her dance and they would see that in her you know and she would still be she would be still in control of everything so many layers to it so it's so, so great Three to have layers. Emma here when you're Three watching layers. the main show as well and you can see and watch it after all this insight we're getting here uh, and right now Emma I think you're gonna go and talk to some I of am, our, yes. our our fans out there because yes, we have got, got two incredible drivers here Amazing. that are about to join us um, not only have we got James, Connor Daly is here. Wow. James, bro, good to see you. Hey, Connor, Dominic, man, welcome to uh, All Access. You're going to have to go bedazzled, you okay? Connor, you know, look at this. More and more bedazzled every week. And Connor, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go straight to you, Connor, on this one. Look, Gold's you my see color. your boy here, and he's bedazzled up the wazoo. <laughs> I mean, did you ever think you'd see him dressed like this? Again. Honestly, no. Again. Like, I, I, th this whole deal has been really weird. Like, each week is, is getting weirder. Look, just, so, I, just so we can clarify, I don't get it. good weird, bad weird? Yeah, like, it's like, good job, James? I, you're a different human now? I don't get it. It was really cool, I, I guess. Are you looking forward to him potentially bedazzling his car on the inside or yes. the steering wheel? Yes, I'm gonna, James, absolutely. I'm going to bedazzle some of his clothes. Okay. Uh, well, that's my new. Actually, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to sneak into his closet and chuck a couple rhinestones on there. Little <laughs> did you know while you've been gone, I've been in <laughs> your house. Well, and, uh, wasn't there a situation <laughs> when, when, when James was out, you were driving for him or in his <laughs> yes. position? So, yeah. I mean, i got to ask the question. If something happens to him this week, I mean, are you going to jump in and step in there? 
Um, you get to dance no, with Shana. Yes. You get to dance with Shana. Absolutely, then. I'm in. Yeah, <laughs> count me in. She's a Same lovely lady. Okay, yeah. look, let's play some music and let's see Connor dance right now. Go. <laughs> wow, unbelievable. <laughs> That's a 10 for me. That, what about you, guys? Mine was the Macarena. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Why Come on. That was there, just natural. There's no way that we can believe that you weren't a dancer before the show. What I mean is, something drops on in the D floor and you're at the club. You had some moves, bro. I have, I have, I have a character witness. To <laughs> we show literally that that spent a lot of time at the club and I have doing been, nothing. Doing nothing. <laughs> Rela yeah. Related to dance. So you were just like at the back, like yeah. just doing the side to side? Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. The foot this, tapping this circle a, and you know stuff like that. You know that scene in the movie Hitch where Will Smith's explaining to Kevin James, like, this is it. This is your happy place. And yep. Arms at 90, back and yeah. forth. This is where you live. This is home. Well, then, it. Home. try That's and explain it. it to us, then. How come he's so good? What the heck? Guys, uh, unless he's drinking a lot of alcohol backstage, it, man. I don't know. I mean, he's pretty. <laughs> <smashed right. laughs> so weird. We don't ask those sort of questions Great on teacher. camera, Connor. What are you no, thinking? I'm sorry. God, uh, now, of course, today is it today is Canadian Thanksgiving. Uh, yeah. We're, well, look, we're, we're getting people sending it us. That people, That's right. Thank you these so guys much. were telling us. I mean, how is it? I mean, it must be emotional right now to be able to dance on. It this is. One, James, and it's tough. What is the food situation for Canadian Thanksgiving? Traditional poutine or what? I mean, poutine. it's actually just kind of like American Thanksgiving. We just have it in October instead of November. Wow. If I'm honest, Man. it's not a whole lot different. So you're going to leave here and you're going to, you, what are you trying to jump we the gun it, on we, us? I mean, what's the game plan there? No, we did it last night, actually. Um, my girlfriend, Becky, Sharon, and I, we went out and got some dinner and we got some turkey and some sweet potatoes and some mac and cheese. Connor didn't get the invite. Thanks for the invite. Thanksgiving. Yeah, wow. I Believable. Don't Connor was busy. He had to drive a race car today. So. I did, yes. I did. Connor, uh, when you look at something like this and you think about racing, you know what James has been, for, been through and you know what tonight's about. Yeah. It's not about the crash. It's about the recovery and it's about what happens next. For sure. You were there and you went through that with him. T tell us what that was like for you as a buddy. Uh, honestly, I mean... It, it was inspiring, like, because I, I saw him from, like, day one of, well, we were in the hospital when the guy had freaking stuff in his chest so he couldn't talk. He could only write with us. So, you know, we, we saw it all. We were there, and, you know, I, I had to fill in for him, which, you know, felt weird because, you know, he's been trying to help me get a ride. And and then he it took it really literally. Me to just <laughs> yeah. try and kill myself yeah. in a seat. Like I, I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't Man. know it would be that. That's that shaking bacon. And that, he drives yeah. behind and then he comes forward. Yeah. It's so, the vibe. So yeah, I mean, it was like it was really really cool to see because the guy was like getting on his bicycle when, before he was allowed to get on his bicycle to try and start training to get back fit again, and it was really really incredible because I also went out with him. I rode his 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 girlfriend's bike that <laughs> didn't work, and I, you know, but I was out there and I was trying to you know go with him because it was really cool and pretty inspiring to see that like he, he just nothing was gonna stop him getting back into the car. So it was really cool. And look at your boy now, all right? Yeah. he's out there, but dazzling he's a up star. the storm. Just <laughs> fox trotting. I think, I think he's going to give the race thing up and he's going to be on Broadway. What do you think? Oh, well, stop. then, okay, because I can drive his car. Then again. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be fine. I'll do it. Spirit fingers. Spirit. All right, well, we're going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for coming up, man. What hey, a pleasure to meet no you, worries. bro. Thank you. And I always a pleasure it. to see you, yeah, brother. Yeah, great to meet you, yeah, James. Yeah, yeah. Thank Thanks, you. Yeah, I appreciate yeah, like that. An Real emotional pleasure. Nice. Guys. Yeah, Look great this, stuff man. out there on the floor. Yeah. Thanks for everything, guys. Lots to learn. Love it. All right, thank you, guys. Thanks for coming up, Connor. Thank you. And give our love to Shana, wherever she may be right now. Connor, if something happens, you're the boy. You're going to step in. All right, so there it is. Yes, play them out. Play them out. The All Access Orchestra. Yeah. Which means we move it to Laurie and Val, of course. Uh, some would say, I don't know, the favorites. They're at the top of the leaderboard. I mean, do we say things like these guys are the favorites at this point of the competition? I mean, they are the top of the leaderboard. Everyone says how well they are doing week to week, how much they are improving. Yeah, uh, I think it's fair to say that they are definitely one of the favorites, at least, you know. Um, definitely going into it, I think that many people were like, hey, Laurie's going to win. The, the, well, it's interesting then when we look at this package, which we are seeing right now, for you guys that, that are watching this or for you guys that can't see it, yeah. it's a really emotional package. It and Laurie, is. in some ways, is struggling, really struggling with the pressure and I think that maybe it's the pressure of being the front runner. It's that pressure of wanting to do her best for Val and for the public. But yeah, it's got a, it's gone to her. She's 16 years old. I was going to say, remember, like she's 16. Like this is a lot to deal with to constantly be the front runner and uh, every 
okay, everybody at home, everybody on the judges' table expects a certain standard of her because it's Laura Hernandez. You know, she's amazing. She's this, she's this fantastic performer, and she's got this great quality that we come to expect now. But then that can that can do really harmful things to the mind because um, you've got to keep up with that. It's almost like you started sprinting, so you you can't slow down now. You have to keep going, and it can be difficult. But this this beautiful young woman yeah. uh, is an Olympic gold athlete, and she knows strength like no. Other. I agree. No one knows strength. No one knows pressure like this girl. Yes. So after the week that she's had, let's see how she does right now. A An love. incredible opening, right? Oh like what gosh. a way for this to start. This she's kind of dancing brilliant. in a box. It's like she can't get out. It's very metaphorical. You know, I, I love this. And she just has this face like strength. Um, wow. And this dance is obviously the Paso Doble, of course. You know, you can tell that it's got the beautiful cape. It actually jumps as her skirt as well. Um, and she put that on really well. It I can, mean, she's, cra she's this just is crazy insane. good, guys. She I don't, is don't crazy know what good. to tell you. I hope that you are watching this. This is insane. Um, uh, I think Val has an extraordinary way of highlighting his partners and their strengths. Uh, she has a lot of them, so he's just had so much fun being able to play with the dancers. Um, and I know for a fact that Pasadobli is one of his all-time favorite dancers. Um, and he's very, very wow, good Wow, man. Don't forget last week these guys got the first perfect 10 of the season. Could we get those 10s again? I mean, well, this that's is what they're aiming damn. for with this dance, certainly. And um, I would definitely, I think I would probably give it a 10. Look at her face. So she, she has, she's full of confidence. Every single step, it feels like you know that she knows it inside out because her face is, is right there. I can't uh, even deal with the fact that she's 16. Wow. Yeah, she's you guys have given her a lot of love, and I think that there is a there is a lot of love out there for this girl. Amazing. Uh, and Val is really, wow, he is making her into a incredible dancer. Yeah. Week to week, even from week one to now, yeah. she has improved so much. The Paso Doble is all about those strong shapes and very intense, um, growing situation. There's no hip action, but there's a lot of growth, and you really need to keep your um, your, your posture is even different. Your hips are forward. You lead with your with your pelvis, and she did an absolutely fantastic job. And that's all obviously down to Val and him being a really great teacher. Yeah, look, and he is. He is having a lot of fun. We've had him up here. He is enjoying himself a lot more. He's it feels happy. like he's light and it's easy. You know? He's Sometimes happy, Val. He can be a little. You know, he's. He is very concentrating on the thing, yes. but we, he's got that lightness to him about yeah. him this season. And I think that, you know, Laura's probably doing a lot of good things for him too. Abs you know? Oh, absolutely. No, uh, honestly, it's very easy for the pros to be in themselves and, and very stressed. Um, but then um, if you can have that positive attitude and um, your pros and your celebrities have that positive attitude as well, it just breaks you out of it. And she is a light backstage. I mean, just look at all our pictures. Laura's in the background like... Well, look, we, we, we can see them from coming in from, from you guys as well. Kimmy, there, Laurie's basically an entirely different show <laughs> than everyone else. I mean, would you agree that she has really increased her lead in some ways this week? People have to watch her performance in this show. And whether she's a favorite or not, um, people have to watch the show. And she's the bar. T she's the example bar. Like, absolutely. Whether you're a James fan or a Tara fan or a Calvin fan, she definitely does set the bar in terms of dance performance. I mean, she's the only one so far that has all tens. And um, and I think that people will be watching her performances on where to gauge. Oh, OK, if I need a 10, I need to look like that. And I think that we are getting to know her. She's only 16 years old. She is obviously an absolute competitor. Yes. She loves... Wow, was that booing? It was booing because I feel like Carrie Ann um, is, is saying something that we've all said before. Like, it's, it's where do you go from here? Um, what I, I feel like, Laurie, what she has to be careful of is um, show, showing those different sides of her. And obviously, that was a very strong, powerful, like, w um, confident dance. But last week's was also that as well. And I believe the week before was also that. So we need we need, need some light and shade now. Uh, well, we've Kerry, had the tango. Th there, was booing, the there was booing. There was booing. thought the opening was a little too much, a little o overdone. Oh, I don't okay. know. What do you think? I think no. it was amazing. Oh, my gosh. The this is a television the show, right? Oh, Carrie Ann. 
Ryan, don't say that. That was in, that was insane. And here's the thing: it's Dancing with the Stars. We need those creative moments for the show to be like, wow. You don't want to watch a boring show. I don't want to be a part of a boring show. This is not a boring show. So we do fun things like that. That that little box. It, it looked like she was in a box, and I can tell you, it wasn't. It was all obviously you saw pieces put together that can be pulled apart, and it's so effective. Like I, I definitely don't think that that was too much. And her being trapped in a box, wanting to show the different sides of her. I mean, wonderful. Uh, lots of layers to it uh, and I'm sure that everyone watching uh, was a huge fan and will be picking up the so. phone or you know getting online and actually voting uh, because I think that there's a real huge show of support obviously just from who she is and what an incredible year this is of course her most memorable year is right now uh, the Olympics what an incredible Olympics it was for her for a 16 year old to experience she probably that. doesn't have that many years yeah. to choose from yeah At 16 year old it'd be like being born yeah um, so she's just school. like completely owned the Olympics. Now she's like crushing it on Dancing with the Stars. So yes. she's having a great year. Oh my gosh. Carrie Ann gave that an eight. That is insane. And Bruno gave it an eight. Wow. That is Boo. surprising scores, man. Yeah, very, very surprising. And I think that... Um, I think that they are going to be safe. I really do believe that they're going to be safe. I don't think that that was an eight at, at all. I know. Did they jump the guns on the 10 and they just wanted to kind of bring it back? I don't know what their reckoning is, but I really don't think there's an eight. I believe that, that they should judge the dance on that dance and not factor in any kind of, oh, well, last week they got 10. No, no, just judge the dance on what you thought. Was it an eight? No, it wasn't an eight. Yeah, I don't think that that was an eight, guys. What did you think at DWTS All Access? Let us know. I think it, you're going to probably say it was 11, not eight. Uh, uh, it, but certainly, I think that there is a huge amount of support out there for her. She's not going anywhere. Who will be leaving us tonight at tonight's elimination? I know. Who knows? At DWTS scary. All Access, tell us who is your favourite. And, of course, send your questions in for Emma and stuff. Yeah, I want to get some questions. We're going to have, you know, ask for engagement questions a little later on. Emma, why don't you go and talk to the fans right I now? Because I can to. see my boy Calvin. See you later. Look, Emma looks amazing tonight as well. Wow. All right. Calvin, get on in here. The man who lit it up tonight. Lit it up, brother. Look at you. Look good. Go Bedaz, You okay? We can hear some crazy noises going on here. Crazy. Now, you guys, you guys, as I said, look, you guys lit it up tonight. No one brings the fun like you. That's what these yeah. judges were saying. And all I can see is week to week to week, just the, the, the transformation with you. I mean, there's so much fun and enjoyment. What the heck are your NFL boys thinking of this experience? <laughs> I mean, because you started this thing as an NFL player trying to dance. Now you're just a dancer. That's it. Yeah, pretty much. I, it's funny because everybody's watching now. All my guys, they're tuning in. I talked to guys on the team. <laughs> guys that would have never watched Dancing with the Stars if, if I wasn't doing it. They're watching now. So we're doing something right. Yeah, Lynn, how, how's it been for you to see this week, week on week improvement and how are you trying to bring that out? Especially on a week like this where it's kind of a celebration of everything he's achieved. I think the greatest thing with him is he's so down with anything I've thrown at him. I mean, we've had pretty character-driven dances. Like, every single week is a new character, and he's so willing to go there. He's not worried about looking weird. He just goes for it, and I love that because it's allowing me to really create new fun things with him. All right, well, look, we've got a lot of qu fan questions. These guys are sending in some love. Let's take a look right now. Lindsay, <laughs> are you using any NFL coaching to, to help? Calvin learn his, his roots. You know what? In our first week, we brought some of those ladders. Yeah. And we totally used them. And there were so many steps you could do in the ladders. So that is definitely a technique. But I don't know well, very look, much football stuff. So this, this is what we got here. Okay. Now I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to do it right, Calvin. But you tell me how I'm going. Okay. So look, this is what you could do. You could have this. You'd be like, Calvin, what I need you to do is go here, ah, ah. step up there. Yeah. Ah, ah, Bad. I love it. Yes. Jump, get down it. here. Do a couple Can't of circles. Y'all need it. I kind of tried. Stop it. here and then bam. I sometimes try to name routes, and he's like, no, that's not. That's too long okay, of a well, name. Look. It's too long. We're going to give you a go I right really now. Like come flicker. on, Lindsay. Just have a shot. Okay, okay what do you need? Flicker. Calvin, okay. you're going to come, come down. You're going to okay. do your New Yorker to about here, Okay, right? good. Yep. Then I'm going to come in, and I'm going to slide across. You're going to stop me here. We're okay. going to do a little booty shaking. Look at this, Then man. we're he both going to do a turn to get us over into this corner. Okay. Then yep. we're going to go up here into the skybox, and we're going to get coach, our scores. Coach. I need to be realistic. That's beautiful. Did we just jump up there? Flea flicker. One, two. Yeah, we jump. I threw you up there. I threw you up there. Yes, you 
Patrick. Throw, just throw up at the sky. Man, I'll tell you what, man. That is cool. did, we, did we just like to work it out from now to and this is how he's going to win the show? Yeah, it's perfect. I mean, would you like you to be doing that? Would you? Would you? Would oh you, my gosh, you, you that's a be good next idea. Level? Is yeah, that's a good idea. That thing traces your steps on a dance floor. I could like actually map out your dance. routine. That'd be dope. And then you could like look Thanks, back Mom. at it and uh -huh. watch it back. I mean, uh -huh. come on. Yeah. Hey. All right, that's let's take cool. a look at the, the the next fan questions coming in. Calvin, does it? Look at that, man. It is so true. Does it ever really sink in that you broke Jerry Rice's record? I mean, it is Jerry Rice, and he is here in the building. He came out. People are cheering, Jerry. Yeah, what a treat. Uh, what a treat. There's, that there's was a, awesome. There's a lot of love there for you, for him, and of course you. Wow, what an experience, man. It's, it's still mind-blowing to know that um, I took out a record that was long-standing by obviously one of the greatest receivers of all time, you know. Um, definitely a fan growing up. To meet him today was awesome. That's the second time y'all got me. So, you know what? It's a good surprise. Y'all keep him coming. <laughs> I was a little bit worried that he would see him and just be like, and then the ball would hit him in the It threw me off like, for a second. Oh! It threw me off. <laughs> I was so nervous. I almost told him because I was, like, so stressed about it. That is so funny. We held it together, all right? Success. Well done, bro. I guess well he's done. A pretty good football You're meeting player. him. It's so surreal. On dancing with the stars, dressed like this, and the yeah. you know, millions watching around. Double America. take. Like, Whoa. Like the, hey, where am I? Okay, one more question. We're gonna let you guys go. I think this one's for you, Lindsay. Ooh. Boom. I mean, it's a tough one. I would probably say 2015, because that's when I got married. That's yeah, yeah. Cool. Cool. There's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of engagement. This one isn't good. Married. This one's fun, Calvin. Come on, exactly. That's good. Calvin started, good he's got a tear in his eye right there. He's man. like, it wasn't this year. <laughs> It'll be this year sometime, buddy. All right, guys. If we'll, we win. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, 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 you killed it. You, you nailed it Thank tonight. You. Thanks thanks to Lindsay. And of course, a, a, a great a great sort of no, a night and, and so much emotion in all the dances. So yes, it's going to be great. Thank you so much for coming up, brother. We love you. Bye. Thanks, Lindsay. Thank you. See you guys. And then. Look at this man. Yeah, play him off. And I guess, look, there's a lot of uh, emotion, but kind of good emotion there with Calvin. Man, I can't believe he's never even met Jerry Rice. That's crazy. So he met Jerry for the first time, broke his record, he met him for the first time on the dance floor just then. Can you believe it? Calvin you met him. You are absolutely kidding no, me. No, that was Calvin the first time. Calvin had never met Jerry? Never met Jerry until right now. And he's like, man, I love the surprises on the show, so keep them coming. So we're going to have to think of something. I don't know how we surprised that man. But yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. It's an all active exclusive. All access exclusive. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's crazy. I didn't realize that. So I, I knew that Jerry Rice was going to be there, but I didn't realize it was a surprise. Well, Lindsay for... was saying that she was really worried that he was going to like see and like the ball was going to hit him in the face, you know? Like, yeah. Because, yes. yeah, but he handled it, he held it down, and as the judges said, look, he really brings the fun. Yeah. Uh, we hope that you enjoyed it too. If you did, make sure you pick up the phone and vote, vote, vote. Yes. Tonight, someone will be leaving the show. Uh, if you don't want it to be them, you've got to make sure that you vote. We can see Derek right now. We had Derek and Miralu up earlier on. This is an incredible story that we are seeing. It's somewhat a heartbreaking story, of it course. Is. The She had the audition for Taxi. Her mother was, was on her deathbed. She got that part, of course, which changed her life. So of a bit course. of sweet sort of story and something that she's really trying to put into a dance. Derek thinks it's going to be her best tonight. I, I, and I agree. I really do. It's uh, actually really magical. Vinny's waltz. Um, it flows very nicely. The choreography is absolutely stunning and she does it really well. So hopefully this will be her best dance. I, I have every hopes that it will be. And it's it's very Marilou. The second that she came off a dress run, she, she asked me, give me notes, like anything that you can tell me that... that that I can I can do more of, and I was like, Marilou, just make it smooth and make it effortless and elegant because I, you don't want to give them, I don't want to give them something that contradicts what Derek said. But all you can do is just give them that confidence. So I was like, you look fantastic. Go out there and know that you do, and just just drink it in. Well, yeah, and, and to that point, Derek sort of said to us, to her, just do this one for yourself. You yeah. know, you, you're going to be dancing. There's going to be the three of us out there, you know, me, you, and your mum. And wow, I mean, that's even um, emotional for her to even think about that. And I think we're going to see a really elegant, beautiful dance. I just hope she can hold it together. Uh, but yeah, we've got our tissues here, Emma. So if you need. Oh, it. tissues. All oh, access. I miss these. Yes. Sparkly tissues. Sparkly oh. tissues. A bedazzled tissue box. I know. Of course. Only on it's all access. Be bedazzled. So look, you can see a lot of emotion in the package yeah. here. Now let's see if she can kind of hold that emotion in, but just show us enough of it. I think that Absolutely. she's going to do a great job, incredible job in the dress rehearsal. So Emma, what do you think? Well, first of all, I love the set. It's very intricate. This dance. There's a lot of um, accents that Derek has choreographed in. When you say and accents, what do you mean? 
I can say with the music, we'll, we'll hit a certain note and he's made sure to choreograph an arm movement on that. I've noticed there's a lot of arm movements that are very effective. And Marilou, um, I think that personally, she really enjoys this dance more than any of them because she's committed to this one. And what I mean by that is she's um, watching her now. She's really involved in every step. Everything is, is very graceful. Um, and I can tell from that that she's really in there. But she's doing a fantastic job so far. Lots of shape and long lines and that's what you need i just uh, i wanted to continue on this path because it's very beautiful look at that smile on her face yeah wow she looks absolutely stunning you're right dancing with the stars fan 2015. if you are not a fan of this show after watching a, a week like this you know that story and then you get to see them do this yeah. dance in this way it just adds so much so many people at home now know Marilou a little better that was the most perfect picture you guys don't you guys didn't see it um derek's behind her and he gives her a hug and she just has this beautiful euphoric look on her face and um, uh, that's lovely to see and now this is a, uh, a rotational not a lift it's a, a ballroom trick and I really hope that she keeps her feet on the ground because obviously uh, we know that Karen and Arbor is a stickler for lifts so she won't have any of that it's if there's one take home Fantastic. from this week it is dance with emotion wow. it's it's more important than if you get the steps right or wrong i mean obviously yes. you want to get the steps right yes. but the more emotion you can pour into something as a viewer i think yeah that's that's when people fall in love with you absolutely yeah so look that was a beautiful dance commendable I job uh wow i think maybe her best yeah absolutely and she's great marilou's she's a, she's a, another one like calvin she's a very genuine person she will she will ask you how your day's going and really look at you and take in what you're saying she's not one of these people that just you know you know it goes past her wow and on the floor right now bruno is uh he's hugging derek and doing something quite extravagant yes with derek Hoff. being bruno and, uh, and everyone Julianne. all of our judges up on the floor giving hugs so i think they are about to send some positivity her I, way i think she's got some very high scores for that and i would um and i would agree with it i think that that was really a fantastic fantastic effort what we just seems to be her dance yeah what we are seeing there even as she's standing there she's close to tears i mean this is an emotional performance she's really pulled it out uh and i think delivered you know certainly her dance of the season uh, yeah but I guess now it is all about, of course, what she needs to do to sort of continue this momentum, right? Because she's in the middle of the pack. Yeah. She's obviously got Derek Hoff, who, you know, is, is one of our best. Of course. Uh, but, yeah, a long way to go. We've seen some incredible dancers tonight. We've got some incredible celebs still in the competition. So what do you think she needs to do to kind of carry this through? Uh, I think she needs to, quite honestly, do another one just like that. I don't mean uh, the dance, but I mean in terms of commitment and calmness. You see how calm she was? Uh, that You even said yourself about her face just smiling away. She needs to do another one just like that where she's super comfortable and confident. Um, and I love how genuine she is. She's really, really happy. She's, she's seeing, getting nines right now. All nines across the she's board. She's seeing her, her top score. Now, let's not forget, going into tonight, she was at the bottom of the table. So yes. she really needs those scores. And hopefully yes. you have voted and kept her in for another week. Of course, someone will be leaving us tonight before we are done. Some incredible tweets coming in as well. Uh, oh my gosh, yes. yes. Want to give Derek We all want to give them hug. just a big hug and congratulate them on their best dance of the season. And I long know. may it can continue. Thank you so, guys so much for all the love that you're sending I in know. tonight. It is, it's kind of easy tonight because you're getting to see a side of these guys uh, and all you want to do really is support them and see them yeah. do well out there. We've seen some great dancers. We've got some great dancers still on the way. If you've got any questions that you would like to send in at DWTS All Access, Emma, why don't you go and see what's happening out there? I would love to. Because we've got... Room, okay? And as you go past, say hello to the newlyweds. Oh, I mean, oh freshly, God, engaged. freshly engaged. Yes, it is a bit of an engagement party up here. We are now going to welcome Ryan and Carla, his fiance. Come on in. Look at this, Ryan, my brother. Kayla, come on in. Lovely to meet you. Dominic, congratulations. Uh, first of all, where do we start? First of all, we've got to start with this whole congratulations engagement ah, extravaganza yes, yes. Where look is at this, this. Thing? let me see the, you're yes. beautiful you're engaged your I fiance know. i mean I say know. it out loud go say it guys it, it's so he is your fiance. fiance she is your fiance wow 
It, does it still I feel weird to say? No. I don't feel comfortable no. being in the heart. Take me out of the heart. It's just these two. Look at that. So much love. Uh, and I guess this this week on the show has been somewhat of an uh, of an engagement extravaganza. Was that part of it yeah. when you saw Sash? Were you like, that was the time? Oh uh, no, I mean it, this is something that I've been planning for weeks now. Um, and look at that I was selfie. just waiting for the right time. Your to selfie do it. game is pretty good too. Did you take that yourself, or did you have a photographer there? I think that was that was me. But you yeah. Did, yeah, yeah, you did that. He's yourself. got skills, right? I know those I long skills. arms. Yeah. yeah, those long arms. Yeah. Perfect selfie. <laughs> well, look, built even, in. look, the mm. Bergster there. She's loving it too. Yeah, yeah. She congratulated me oh, and everything. So she's really happy. Yeah. Well, look, how's this experience been for you? It's been, it's been an incredible and an interesting time for you this year. But I think that what we've felt up here is that there's a real groundswell of support because they're getting yeah. to see the real guy mm -hmm. and they're getting to know you and to love you and he's doing so well but you've been through the dark times and the, and the good times so what's yeah. this meant t to you to be a part of this experience with him um it's a lot i mean that's the thing is like we've we've been dating for like a little under a year now but it's insane like we've been through so many ups and downs and just so many t like hard times together that we're just like have overcome and i feel like in normal people dating this long wouldn't really have gone through that many things yeah. so it's just it, it's brought us so close and it's just weird like i'm still in shock and i'm just like uh like my brain is just a mashed potato right now who would have thought he'd be doing so well out there with the, the bedazzling <laughs> and the spray tanning and the waxing and yeah, all that yeah. Yeah, I know. It's weird. <laughs> how are you feeling with all the craziness of the show and and kind of getting used to it week in week out because I know first week it's you know fish out of the water to use yes, the pun yes. it kind of is well the first I'd say the first three weeks were like that um and then I started my confidence started building up and now I'm getting more relaxed I'm starting to enjoy dancing and I'm just ha going out there and just well the judges fun. best most honest dance you've did you did that's yeah. what they said and, yeah. and what do you think was different about this week um you know I really try to play this character being uh my journey like playing my whole journey and Real, realize, making Cheryl like kind of be my mom, like always helping me up when I get knocked down, and just being in that moment and kind of living that kind of lifestyle. Um, I really just try to play the part and. Yeah, well, you did a great job. There's a lot of love up here for you. Look, our, our, our audience is going crazy. <laughs> They're sitting in some questions. Let's see what we got. Okay, okay where's the wedding gonna be? Oh, I want to do it by the Near water. Near the water, for sure. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Speedos? Or, you know, I mean, are you going to win it? Uh, no? No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to be close. What, if, what if I have a little bow tie and a no. speedo? Oh, okay. Come on, Cheryl's got to be involved in the choreography of the first dance, though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. I mean, are you kind of a little bit nervous now that he's such a good dancer? You're going to have to Ooh, throw something pretty yeah. down on that Not first dance. I don't get it. I can throw, throw some moves on. Yeah, yeah, you're going to be like doing the dip. She's going to be trying to keep up. And then your parents will just hold up like the cards. You want perfect tens on that night. Oh, heck yeah. All right, we're going to play a quick game, guys. Um, right. Here's how it works. All right. Him or her. You know how it works? Look, him or her. Her, okay. me. Her, me. There it is. Boom. Right. Real quick. We're going to do this real me. quick. Her, me. Okay. Okay. All right. Boom. Here's the music, guys. Are we ready? I'm nervous. Are you getting nervous? For Just this. don't be yeah. nervous. <laughs> Who dresses the best? <laughs> no, I, wait, no. Okay. As in oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. So the game is nailing. Yeah. We're nailing it. Right. Yeah, but okay, next one. Who I is it? Who is a better driver? Oh, bad. Okay, okay really? I'll actually let it look Okay, oh, yes, one. we're going upstairs. No, we're not sure that one's correct. Who is the most stubborn? Oh, yeah. I would say me too, yeah. Okay, we both, we're, you're both being stubborn both, about the answer good. as well. Yeah. I like that. It's a good match, yeah. <laughs> Who is most likely to take an afternoon nap? Oh, my gosh, him. I don't nap. I wish I could. Yeah, I always I'm waiting for him to nap. teach me. But. Who is the better dancer as the lights go down? We're going to have to come in here. Who we got? Me. Me? Oh, yes. Because you got some moves. She got let, some moves. I'll let him pretend just because he's on Dancing with the Stars. But she's got right some now. moves. Have you seen her moves? I mean, I've seen some moves. <laughs> I mean, it's about six and seven. Six and seven? Yeah. You wouldn't give her a perfect ten? You guys just got engaged. Mm. Drop the ten. <sighs> yeah, thank you. Our audience <laughs> agrees. He makes me work for it, you know? <laughs> okay, yeah. and the last one. Who is a better singer? Me. Her, for sure. Yeah. You, you don't want to hear a song right now? No? I love Lullabies? She's actually really good too. Okay, well, look, we're, we're getting a lot of questions. People want to see the ring. 
Uh, can yes. we kind of get in there and zoom in? And can you just tell us how you did the engagement? Can you bring us into that? Look at that Which beautiful ring. Going? Amazing. We, we can't really see it. How did you yeah. do the engagement? Talk us through um, so it. Tell us what you can. We took a we took a helicopter ride. And what? we went over. Fancy. Yes. Uh, yeah. We went over uh, West Hollywood and Hollywood. And then we went down Santa Monica to the, um, the ocean, to the pier. And then Malibu. we went up to Malibu. And then... They dropped us off on top of a mountain in Malibu, and there was a picnic, had roses and champagne. This and guy's dropping a pretty good one, so. right? Here. Yeah, and he was being so awkward the whole time. I'm like, what is wrong with you? Yeah. What is happening right He's now? He's being so weird and kept making me look a certain way, and I'm just like, Yeah, because I had to get the doing? right moment <laughs> Yeah, everything. Well, look, you absolutely nailed it. Congratulations. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. you. Thank you for coming thank out. So and much. thank you for thank being you. such a big supporter. We love Ryan up yeah, here. You don't, yes, you're doing so thank great, you. man. Thank you. I'm Best trying, start to the season, so just keep it coming, baby. All right. All right, man. All right. Thank you. Lovely to meet you, guys. And we'll see you soon. You got it. Good luck for tonight. Uh, you're going to be fine. But make sure that you vote. If you appreciated what Ryan Cheryl did tonight, pick up the phone and vote for these guys. All right. Nice work on the engagement there. The helicopter, the picnic. This guy's got some moves, right? Thank you to our audience. Uh, of course, they, they, they're weighing in on it. They totally agree. Uh, and I guess at this point, it was, I think, one of their best dancers of the season. I'm looking over and I'm seeing Laurie, I'm seeing Val. If you've got any questions that you would like to fire into them at DWTS All Access. This guy dropped a pretty sweet engagement. He was in the helicopter. He was doing picnics. I know. I saw that. Um, she's a very lucky lady. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, interestingly, though, forget all about that. Forget about his celebrity. Let's talk about her being there for him. She was uh, talking about that and the incredible six months of ups and downs that she's had with them and she yeah. said look if we can get through this we can get through anything yeah and it's really about balance you know there's going to be times in your life where one of you is 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 doing stunningly amazing in their career and then the other one isn't and then it completely switches and or one of them's completely stressed one, or one of you's completely stressed there's going to be times in your life when you're like that with your partner um, but the key is just can you make it through can you be there for each other and if the answer is yes then that's what it takes to be in a, I'm a marriage no, I'm, I'm, I'm you know I'm assuming I agree and I think we're going to get into it more with Sasha a little Absolutely. later on all your questions send them in when you talk about being there for each other we have just seen the package with these yeah. guys and it's about doing the best that you can knowing the pressure of performing it for someone else she's doing this for her son Sebastian yeah. uh, well, what should we be looking for for her I mean we, you know we love her uh, how's she going well um, Amber struggles with confidence she um, she's got bags of confidence as a person but as a dancer this is so new to her that you just saw then um, there's a, a moment yesterday in the camera blocking where she really felt out uh, not comfortable and out of place and, uh, and and didn't know how to didn't know how to get it back she was having a moment where everything was new to her she didn't know whether she could do it and she's absolutely killing it right now this samba is a very difficult dance and she's got every single step and it's Max is very clever because he's made this very sassy and that's her personality. Um, Amber is sexy, she's very flirtatious, she's got that amazing body and she knows how to work it. So by making every dance about that, she's going to feel comfortable and that's what she needs. Well, you can hear that clapping just off camera. That's her, uh, Max's brother Val. Yes. That's the love and support that he has for him. A big smile on his face. He's going to be uh, right here next. So get your questions in for him. He's screaming, yes. he's yelling, he's stomping. He's loving it. One of the things that Amber said is, look, she does have these these legs and, and this booty, and she's really struggled with that kind of side of moving and the quick speed and the fitness, and that's the number one thing that she's struggling with. Obviously, we saw in the package there have been some disagreements with these guys this week. Yeah. What does she need to do? Because I think that she's definitely improving, and it's all thanks to Max and herself. She's very driven. Well, I sound like a broken record, but she just needs to believe in herself. Like, she really does just need to believe in herself. And, um, yeah, this... this Competition is going to push it to, to to heights that she's not comfortable with, but it's going to be like that with everybody. Everybody's not going to be completely comfortable. Um, so uh, she's she just needs to keep doing what she's doing because she's, she is doing a fantastic job. She, 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 she sure just is. freaks out. Yeah, you know? and I think look, it's easy to the millions of what people watching you doing this live. Um, Emma, you're going to step out right now. We're going to bring I these two. Am, yes. Let's hang around. Stay for the stay for the throat of this main show that we've got going on here. It is so fantastic to have Emma Slater here, uh, and it means that we will welcome in this young lady. And she just did what an incredible job tonight. Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Where do we even start when talking about what you guys did out there tonight? Man, the, these, 
these guys here, I want to say, have been going absolutely crazy about this dance that you just did. Aww. Amazing. I don't even know where to start with talking about it. You have so much confidence and power and strength out there. You're 16 years old. These guys are freaking out. I mean, I think we all are freaking out that you are loving this, but also growing so much. I mean, how does it feel to, to, to kind of be where you are and to, to, to can you feel that growth? Thank week you, to week? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. No, sure, I'm speaking for these guys. Seriously, they w w went crazy. I think that I Look, do feel like Alan. I have. <laughs> even Alan's given you love. Oh, I do feel like I have grown a lot since I've been on the show. And this was kind of like a breakthrough moment. And looking through, you know, all the rough times the past couple of years, I was able to channel that into my dance. And I felt that the dance was great, and I felt that the choreography was great, and it was so good. It yes. was it, so it was good. A part of and me. Pierce, we loved the box at the start. It was awesome. It oh, was yeah. amazing. It Just was a wonderful. cool, so many layers to it. And Thank I know you. that Val put a lot of work into that as well. A what, lot of work. <laughs> what did you What did you have in your heart when you're talking about those struggles? Because we see someone who was, it seems perfect. You know, mm -hmm. what are the things that you had in your heart when you were out there? I think just. Either if you're not able to get a skill, Run, if it's just a rough day and you're getting... Yeah, look at this. We've got the good thing there, the main show. We are talking there. <laughs> it always seems a bit awkward. We love these guys. Oh. Uh, there we go. Sorry, Lloyd. It's always a bit awkward when we do that. But yeah, you know, what did you have in your heart that you were pushing out there? Because you could really see it in your face. I think just... You know, sometimes there is just a lot of criticism, where whether it was on social media or just, you know, general feedback. It can be really hard and... You know, that takes a toll on you, even especially when you're really young and you don't understand the difference between criticism and just telling you what you need to fix. And I don't know. It's it was it's a weird way of explaining it, but just going through that in gymnastics and having to go all the way up to the Olympics at such a young age was a little bit rough, but I made it. You sure did. I mean, <laughs> yeah, there's no doubting that you are incredible. And I know that, Val, this, well, this week was, it was a little bit of a tough one. I mean, there was mm -hmm. some struggle in there. So how did you find that, Val, and how did every, you overcome that? Every, every week is tough. I mean, she she's shed tears, I think, since week one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not proud of that, but, you know, we're very passionate. And, uh, you know, in this case, I, I appreciate it. You know, I, I appreciate her standing up for herself. I appreciate her challenging let's say me as the authority in the room uh i play many different hats as well it's really hard for me and i, I told her you know first of all i don't treat her like a kid i treat her like my you know my friend my uh, an adult uh an individual that i'm in this together with and uh i i love her feedback i respect her feedback and when i'm stressing out because i want this piece to be special for her because it's it's a you know it's kind of defining her most memorable year I, I'm passionate about that, and it's never directed at her. I'm never disappointed with her, and she knows that. I'm and, her and, biggest fan. And from, from your point of view, you know, to be to be kind of respected in that way, and to be, for him to have a conversation with you, I guess you're used to having a coach, right? And you've got someone that's a real open dialogue. You can have a say. You can so how's that been for you? Because it's a different experience, I'm sure, from a coach saying, "Do this, do this, do this." Right? I mean, it does feel a lot different. He's always telling me, "Communicate, talk to me, what's up?" And you're like, "That's Tell not me. how I normally like, roll." <laughs> <laughs> but it's definitely something that I'm still getting used to, but it's nice. <laughs> I think, you know, I think this is a new, it's a transition in her life where, you you know, the real world, people don't tell you what to do. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, you have to make decisions for yourself. And I want her to, I, I want to introduce her to that concept now uh, so that she can enter the next chapter of her life, being a superstar, being a, a, an influencer of her generation, an inspiration to her generation. I want her to have that type of confidence and strength Aww. not to just follow a coach's you know hard ways or whatever what he tells you but challenge it and and, and learn from it and then make your own decisions we well, look to, to what val said there's so much more to dancing than the show isn't it right you know, oh, so yeah. was that? what was so that more Yo, layers. Listen, give it him a heart don't, man. Hey, don't undermine <laughs> my speeches on this show with some whatever. don't you if don't you give him an ear horn right now well, yeah he would, is, that would not be cool not give me the horn <laughs> Unbelievable. We do not want him to walk off. But look, we, we love you guys. And we love how he's, he's so playful. He's loving it. He's enjoying this. We want to we want to commemorate last week because it was that perfect scores. Now, we, we call the modern era since All Access came around. It was only season 19. But we have made this plaque here. Look at this. This is the Hall of wow. Perfection plaque. Now, this is each, each season on the show. It is a very monumental moment. The first time a perfect score has been gained. Let's take a look back. Season 19. 
season, Derek, forget that. <laughs> season 21, season 22, and now wow. season 23. Amazing. That's going to be a lot of your You will there. now look at that. Aww. So we would now like to present this to you. Congratulations. It's so beautiful. It's emotional. You can be on your podium so what there. Does that say? You're is on the podium. Especially since I only won We're one on of those podium. years. I'm clearly... Look, Val, uh, there you go. The podium. Unbelievable. I'm an early How peaker. How does it feel? It's emotional, right? You're probably wondering why, why I'm up on the podium. Why is there a Ukrainian flag? I want to know why is there a Ukrainian flag. <laughs> and you're probably I'm an American wondering... citizen for 20 years. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I just don't want to get it. And, and you're probably wondering why I was on the podium as well, guys. Well, I represent all of All Access. I represent... There's, it. there's a lot of love. There's a lot of support. <laughs> I know it's emotional, but what do you want to say? Because I think that you've come up here each time and you've, you've kind of had fun up here, then you've gone down and like kicked butt on the dance floor. So what do you want to say to these guys who I think maybe played a part in this experience? Well, oh man, this Just try and keep the emotion America. Uh. <laughs> well, first of all, I'd like to say thank you so much. Thank you. On behalf of Lori Hernandez and uh, myself, I am not Ukrainian. I am not Russian. <laughs> I am American. <laughs> and I'm proud to be an American. Wow. Thank you. Lori, right, anything you want to add? Wow, uh, I might as well just repeat the same thing. Yeah. Thank you so much. And he is not. I am also an American. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, thank you, thank you. Unbelievable. We, we want you to hang that up somewhere. I mean, that's incredible. Uh, that's somewhere special. It's, it's, look, I mean, I can tell Val's a bit emotional looking we'll at that. Put it in Derek's Don't uh, cry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> huh? you got it. It's going to be okay. okay. It's going to be all right. I cry. Big oh, man, I, do cry. I almost cried during Maureen's package, honestly. This show is crazy. This show is very emotional. <laughs> well, yeah, we, we had we had Tara and Sasha up here, and Tara was just like, I just can't, like, blubber. I, 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 she's so close to it, and, and I think that it's hard because you've got to ride that line where you have the emotion in there, but mm -hmm. not too much. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, look, each each week we come up, and we don't get to nearly enough of, of these guys' questions, so we're just going to do some got quick fire. We're going to do now? it. Here we go. Come on. Wow. Were you su there we go from Kelly. Were you guys surprised by your perfect tens last week? I was yeah. surprised. Yeah, I definitely surprised. I mean, we didn't. We had trained so hard for it, but we, I don't. I wasn't expecting tens. Kelly, we had no idea. Same way I wasn't ready Girl. for the eights today. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I wasn't ready for the tens well, last Emma week. was like, her, her, her jaw dropped. When those eights came, Emma was not happy. Look, she's it's okay, uh, though. It's okay. It gives us room to grow, and, and, and the judges def Negative definitely person. had. Negative. No, look, Emma's very unhappy. Very unhappy <laughs> about it. Okay, how much do you appreciate it having Val as your partner? Oh, I He's right there. You should say nice stuff. You know what? Oh, trust I'm me. not going to lie <laughs> yeah, to them. She's not going to lie. Val's okay. <laughs> he's all right. He's all right. Uh, he's all right. He's all right. No, honestly, I have the best partner because he pushes me to the best that I can be and beyond that. And it's great to have someone that believes you in sweets. you. And I take care of you. And I hold your ID when we travel. And, you know, I <laughs> get you man? breakfast yeah. sometimes. You're forgetting all this stuff. It's amazing. He gets you breakfast. What did he get you? Um, he gets you breakfast. He, 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 a cas yogurt and coffee. Quesadilla, coffee. Yogurt. Um, yogurt and coffee, man. This is <laughs> incredible. Quesadillas. Quesadillas, man. Bre breakfast burritos. All right, let's quick fire. Here we go. Who can do more pull-ups? I oh. think Val. Yeah. Really? Yeah, my arms aren't that strong. Well, the first time we met, we did a, uh, we did like this little. What, what is it oh, called? Oh, the rope climb. Like, up the rope, but yeah, is that like the that's basic? The yeah, the basic, just basic rope climb. Like your basic. Yeah, yeah. Skill. Who won? That's basic. Who won? Dude, I mean, I. You crushed it? Yeah, I, I won on that one. You won. That's good. That's good. All right. Next <laughs> question. Here we go. Whose hair is harder to tame? I think mine. Yeah. No. Her her hair is there's a lot of it. I mean, if you grew yours out as long as mine, yeah, then it would, it would be, be just. just like would you ever consider that Val having hair like this? I think I you tried. Do. I tried last year, but it was. Wow. Know. They can only see me sparkle. Oh, well, look, we can do one more question, then you guys are going to have to take off. Let's go to take a look. Last question. I was wondering if you can ask Val if he has been. To a wheelchair Ooh. dance showcase in a wheelchair ballroom dancer. I, wow. First of all, that's amazing. Uh, I have never been to an official wheelchair competition. However, I've seen many showcases. I've seen the world champion wheelchair champion perform. I've, uh, and and my brother and I, Anthony, uh, we have a, a chain of dance studios who have now implemented wheelchair dancing and have an entire syllabus for wheelchair. Uh, individuals, so we do showcases and performances with uh, with with people in wheelchairs all the time, and and that shouldn't limit you from dancing. It's crazy. It's you. I mean, I think this sh this show has shown, you know, that everything is possible, but it's really awesome to see wheelchair dancers uh, do their thing because they're really, you know, it's, it's fascinating. It, it's so yeah. I have seen it, but never official, never official competition. Well, again, thank you for your question. It really is something about dance. Doesn't matter how old, young you are. You know, everyone loves to do it. Some people good, some people not so good. But you can get better. 
you can get better and better with a lot of training. So thank you so much for all your questions, and thank you guys for coming up. Thank you. You did really, really great tonight. And uh, Dom, you did better too. Wait, good, good luck. Wait, go better. back to our Twitter handles. Okay, look, what, is that is right? Is that an I? No. Oh, my God, is that an... Gasp. Is Hernandez? No. Okay, now the is producer's Hernandez? now, he's just been fired. This is his last day on the job, so wow. you want to say goodbye to him? Look, there he is. Can I get a... And you're yes. totally yeah, that redeemed yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that <was> two. <laughs> the sound, guys, unbelievable. <laughs> but look, thanks for coming up. We're going to change that. It's, look, it's fixed can now. Look, it's light, see? Jesus, no, wait, no, no, no. There's still an eye. There is no eye in there. Okay, okay, here we all go. All right, it's okay, guys. All good. All right. She what a great moment Hernandez. to finish the interview on, guys. Uh, take the board. We want you to put Aww. that up wherever you want. Thank that you is so that we spent we spent tens of dollars on this. Wasted wood and glass. <laughs> wasted wood. <laughs> wasted wasted wood. We love you, Val. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, sorry. Thanks for coming up, guys. Really great job tonight. Uh, and look, the show has been. A, 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 thank you. Let's play them off. Look at that. And look, great job, guys, on the Twitter handles. Great job. But that's what we do here. We are a big budget monster show with hundreds and hundreds of crew working on just us. As you can see, our full orchestra uh, and our audience here. And oh, this is emotional. This wow. one is an amazing one. This is uplifting. Okay, well, we've got to get straight back into oh. it. James and Shana. Now, of course, quickly, James's story, he had this terrible crash where he terrible. almost died. It's not about the crash, though. He wants, he wants it to be about what happens next. Okay, so the miracle of this is that James, I mean, James should not, by medical science, James should not be here. He had a piece of suspension go through his hips and out the other side. And we've spoken many times about this because I'm actually really tight with James now. He's a wonderful person. But he, there's no way that that man should be doing this at like a year and a half after a crash like that. He flatlined, to which means he died and to, they brought him back to life. To be alive is one thing, to be dancing on Dancing with the Stars, absolutely killing it every absolutely week. Absolutely killing it. And, and to have to put all that into a dance tonight. I mean, what are we actually seeing on the dance floor? I love this guy. Oh, his technique brilliant. and everything about him looks like he could be one of the pros. We are seeing someone who is loving life right now and really exploring the extent of his body i mean he's he's able to walk by himself he's able to dance and he's actually killing this tango um he's just uh, he's uh, he's great his posture is amazing he's been through so much i can't say enough brilliant things about him i i have a real soft spot for him i think he's a, a top guy yeah and look I, I literally just interviewed him and the question you must have been a dancer. Like, there's something about the way he's that he moves. He's never danced before. Never. He's never what, danced. What a, what a discovery crazy. to make at his I age and, and the life that he's leading. You're absolutely right. He is discovering things about himself thanks to this accident, thanks to this crash. He's living life, I think, and, and I think so many times in life, things like this can happen and it can go two ways and he has really make it and turn it into a positive. And absolutely. yeah, we are the ones that are getting to enjoy oh, uh, what great. comes next. He, yeah, and I, I, he's described it to me weeks ago, like he, the reason why he's so happy and he's so positive, and he is, he's like this massive amount of energy coming at you every day um, is because he realized that life is too short. He had that moment last year when when it could have easily finished for him and it didn't and he got given a second chance, if you will. And now he is the happiest person that I've had the pleasure of meeting in, in a long time. So watching him be able to go out there and literally go, hey, I'm going to throw caution to the wind because I know that my body can do it. And this is uh, this chance is what I've been given. Uh, this is why I've been given a second chance. So I can do these things now. I can make people happy. Uh, I'm very happy to, to watch him perform like that. I would, I would want to give him tens all the time because I just think he's great. Look at him. He's hilarious. Just struggling through the, yeah. through the lights. But um, he's a top guy and I think he did that tango very well. We, we love this guy, and, yes. and, and we've had some surprises tonight. Uh, from what I've been told, there are some surprises happening right now in the Red Room. Oh. Uh, I believe that this was the doctor that worked on James oh, uh, and is kind of crazy. responsible for him, A, uh, being here, and you can choose that camera right now and see it as we are seeing it now, yeah, uh, giving you really amazing. more insight than anywhere else. Uh, you know, if you are a fan of the show, it's incredible. And as he stands next to... The man that saved his life after dancing like that. I mean, God, you've got to love the show. If you were that man, that doctor, you would feel incredibly proud, wouldn't you? Like, this is this is the man that I saved, and he's going out and making the most of it. Which is, I think, just wouldn't a, that make a, you a happy? testament to his character, to be able to 
look death in the face like that and now turn it around. He's uh, never raced better. He's incredible on the dance floor and yeah, he's having a hell of a time. It is a testament absolutely to his character, but it, I mean, he wouldn't have been able to do that without that man and the be and the wonderful medical staff that did that. It's just crazy, you know. It, it, there's beautiful things that happen every day all around us and and as a as a world, I think we need to look on those light sides and, and, and remind ourselves what's really important. So true. Emma. What's Sorry to be so like, no, no, no. philosophic I think that, right th th there. This, but this night to. is bringing it out and, and, and all of us. And I think that's why you're so great, Emma, is because we're not really just talking about the dancing. And I think that you made such a good point at the top of the show when you said people don't vote with the phones, they vote with their heart. Yeah. And they vote tonight with their heart more than ever. And I think so for the rest of the season. Uh, so many times we have had stories that have been told on this episode that have continued for the rest of the season Absolutely. and really created that momentum. Yeah. An incredible score for these guys. That's great. Almost He's perfect, but not quite. Uh, yes. Julianne came in with the 9, 29 out of 30. They'll be very happy. He would be very happy with that. But, uh, and I think it was justifiable. I think that dance was was brilliant for him. Maybe there's one more dance that you're more happy to see that's still on the way. Yes, the last one. Yeah. It's my fiancé. Do you know fiance? that guy? Oh, yeah. he's your fiancé. I keep forgetting <laughs> it's how so you know It's so weird him. having to call him <laughs> yeah. that. I know. I made Ryan and his new uh, fiancé say do the same uh, so we're going <laughs> to let you stand out and get prepped yes uh, fire in your questions guys we are almost uh, at our post show when these two are going to be up here taking your questions live which means we are going to welcome up one of the all-time great broadcasters I'm a huge fan Lisa Gibbons are you kidding me right now Mwah. my name is Dominic I'm from New Zealand and now here I am talking to Lisa Gibbons what a legend uh, so yeah, you can write, I mean, literally, I should be your co-host, I don't know what's going on. You here. can be my co-host for anything in life. Uh, here we are at Dancing with the Stars on, I think, what is, without question, the most emotional, but also, it, it gives you this opportunity to get to know these guys in a way that, yeah. you know, I mean, and you know working with celebrities, sometimes there can be a guard up, sometimes there can be, this is what I want you to know about right. me. That, that doesn't work this Well, week. because the whole show is about people who are used to being in control. They're used to being like the alpha in their environment. And that's what's so lovely about even people like Lori who are so intrinsically talented and have the athletic chops to do it. You still have to pierce through that veil of intimidation or whatever it is that conjures up in your most vulnerable moment. But tonight is all about the estrogen Olympics. I'm sorry, but all respect to James and the other fabulous yeah. men. These stories of women and female power and vulnerability and strength and connection and relationship. Uh, everybody down there is crying their eyes out. And I think that there is so much story that it, it, it's hard not to, you know. And, 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 yeah. and the struggle really is for these guys to dance through that. And, and, the, and the emotional moment of talking about a, a family member that's passed or a near-death experience, to actually put that aside and put down a good dance. And what right. we're seeing tonight is... Wow, Le leaps and bounds, and incredible you, performances. You hear the judges saying best dance ever, breakthrough moments for people like my friend Mary Lou, who I think that, that Julianne was right when she said maybe you most of all want it so much. And she likes to be in charge and in control, and that's your enemy, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I listen, I don't have one ounce of that talent, but I had a lot of that in the way, so I didn't get very far. But I see it in other people, and... I was so happy for Mary Lou. First of all, what a beautiful tribute to her mom. And uh, I loved that song, Surprise Yourself. Um, I, I loved Martina McBride's song, In My Daughter's Eyes. All of us who are moms and have daughters uh, and who are the daughters of strong moms, that was just a really connective moment to experience. And the only way you can through, or the best way I think you can is through dance like this. It's such a tribute. Yeah, I think the reason why, why? Why is this show still here in season 23? You've got to ask yourself, and I think A, it's it's the fact that it is a family and people can really feel that. And I know right. you have been in this kind of world and you know what it's like. And it, it, sometimes it can be very uh, standoffish and, and hard to, for people to really embrace you. But I think it, within this world and this space, C can you kind of talk on that? I mean, this really is, is not the usual situation, is it, in the world of television? No, especially not in reality shows, which some of them are designed to sabotage you so I can get ahead, right? Yeah, yeah. And this is everybody do your best. I mean, I think whether it's the pros or the crew or the producers, certainly the dance team, 
they all want everyone to find their personal moment, their breakthrough moment, their best. And I love that it does feel like, I kind of call it the womb room. You know, it's a safe, <laughs> it's a safe womb I of love, love and support. This. It is. And once you've been a part of this family, like I was on season seven back when it was a very different show, fantastic show always, but the show has grown and stretched and become stronger and fiercer and tougher, but y you're still in the embrace of the family. And that's really nice. Well, we've talked to a lot of the celebs tonight and it's about how much does this experience stay with you outside of the dancing? Forget about the dancing. How do you grow outside of that? And, and for you who's been through it, how did you change? I love that question because I think it's true for everyone that you show up in your life stronger. And for me, I realized how much I had to give and how much I could take. And those are relatable. Those two things go together, you know? But um, you have to trust your partner in dance, right? Like. You can't be Miss Sassy Pants and I'm in charge. <laughs> you have to wait for him to take a move and then you could take a move. Oh, that's hard for those of us who, you know, like to be leaders or like to think that we're in control. So I think that that's a really great life lesson that most everybody takes away is, you know, when you know that you can trust that, that listen for your music and then the steps will come and I um, I learned that yeah, and you can use that in any facet of your life look bucket list for me Lisa Gibbons sharing the screen You're with you right so now fabulous fantastic thank you so much for coming up thank, thank you. you so much for coming into our world look look at the camera now they're gonna take a little screen grab and send it back to us we love you thank you so much for coming and thank being you part so of the family. much again let's give her a round of applause always always, always always Lisa Gibbons a real pleasure, thank you. Look at that, there it is. Lisa Gibbons, man. She's a legend, she's a broadcasting legend. Uh, and now, we're gonna get you in to talk about this uh, next young man that's gonna be dancing. Um, now, of course, we're seeing his wives right now. This is an important dance for Tara. She told us before when she was up here, she's really struggling with the emotion. She wants to do such a good job. This is very important for her. She, yeah. she doesn't wanna watch the package. No. Sash was worried about her seeing the she's package. She's not. She's down there right now, covering her ears, and Sasha's trying to make her like, like not laugh and be happy, but he's trying to keep her you preoccupied. Can kind of see. Look, if we move oh, back, you can there you see go. these can guys. You see? He's giving her a prep talk and her hands are on her ears because this, I mean, she's had a really emotional week. Um, Tara's very strong, but she's um, she's an emotional lady as well. So what do you think Sasha's saying to her right now? Um, he, he'll be saying something along the lines of, it's just me and you and your dad and it's the three of us. Like you said earlier about Derek, I know that that's something that means a lot to her. He said, you know, this you're doing this for your dad. And it's, oh gosh, it's so upsetting. Where's the tissues? Give me the tissues. Don't worry, we got it's you covered. It's so we sad. Got you I'm not, it's not because I'm just emotionally invested, but I don't like to see people get upset. And right now in her package, she's, she's crying and she's getting upset, but she's not listening still. So I'm, I'm hoping that this won't affect her dancing. Um, you don't want to be too upset when you dance too much. Yeah, and I think look, if, if we flip that and we look at the positive, it's a great moment right now for Tara and a great moment for Sash. They've done so well, they've gone so far, and this is not the end. Uh, week in, week out, they are great together. So who knows how far they could go. And as, as a fiancé, yes. it's got to be feel, feeling pretty cool. It, you must, it, it must have a, a warm heart right now. I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of, of her. But I'm proud of their relationship together. They have, I think, the best relationship. It's it's really beautiful. I love watching genuine relationships okay, like that. Okay, can she ride the line of that emotion? I know she's really worried about it. So yes. let's go to their dance right now. The last of the evening. What do you think? I think she's going to do amazing. I can see that she's emotional because she's breathing really heavy but I think that that's going to make her just more of a, aware of where her body is and so far so good it's such a beautiful effortless dance wow it's hard not to get pins and needles right now and the yeah. idea behind this is that they're dancing Amazing. in heaven and those are the pearly gates behind um, it's such a heart breaking and heartwarming dance at the same time. I've seen it so many times and I really hope that Where do those ideas I come see from, that Emma? She gets Is so that Sash and have they sat down and sort of come up with this together? This song really lends itself to this dance. And then and then 
obviously this is all dedicated to her father and it's about her and him and their relationship that they had um, so I know that um, the, the, the idea behind this is that they want to be in heaven and, and those are the gates and she's seeing him again and everything that she felt when she lost him I know she's been through a lot she's doing so well so far this is a really difficult part wow wow oh, I'm so happy yes I love it. Wow. And I think she's just on the cuff of like crying and emotions going everywhere. And it's there's also so that difficult. feeling. You can see the red room there. Everyone just really supporting her. It's amazing. What she's done is phenomenal. And I love that dance. I think that's going to be by far one of her best dances. I really hope that the judges feel the same. Well, look, she put her heart into it. She and did, and you, and, and you know you're doing well. You know that the momentum is building behind you when you are last. You know, a lot of the weeks they've put Tara last because there is something about her performances that are so special. And yeah. that was a very special dance, wasn't it? Yeah, it was very special. And I know it meant a lot to her. Just think, you know, you never get a chance to dedicate something like this to something that you believe in that much. And, you know, she really really loved being able to dedicate this to to her dad she's very inspirational and look uh, these guys as well have Valena sent fans. a lot of support Tara and Sasha are the heart of the season I agree they really are the heart and that's what it and you have to dance from your heart um, uh, I, I just I love that choreography I think Sasha was amazing for putting that together he did that all himself I, th I think it was Beautiful. And uh, I guess in some ways, Emma, if, if you could give one bit of advice to people in life when they're dancing, you know, it's so much of it about is, is feeling it, is feeling that emotion, right? Yeah. It's getting the steps perfect is important, but yeah. in life, anything you do, when, when you're feeling it, it's just going to be read, it's going to come across Absolutely. so much better, right? Dance from your heart. Live from your heart, dance from your heart. That sounds kind of like, you know, standard, but live from your heart. Uh, and I think that Tara does. That dance was beautiful. That's there's going to be some. There's a, been some amazing moments in the show. I was going to say uh, this week is so tough to know that now we have an elimination where someone will be leaving the show to have to go through this emotion that they've gone through this evening, and then to have to switch it and change it to elimination mode. It, it's it's tough. Absolutely. We're looking yeah. at our scores now and what we are seeing is three nines. Yeah, it's three nines. And uh, they and are very happy. Very happy. And they should be. That was beautiful. So great. Um, I, 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 I can imagine that you are very proud of the man right now. I am they very put proud that of him. together. But Tara as well really held it together uh, and she's a real star. And she I think is. that man, will she be there on the finale? I hope so. I think they have a fairer chance as, as most. Um, I, I really do think that there's a good, strong chance. And I've said to Sash, you know, you've got to go for it. Um, Tara, is, she's a winner. She can make it all the way there. So let's hope. But yeah, now well, there's look, elimination. And a roller coaster. Like, oh. I mean, wow, a roller coaster of a night for all of the celebs and the pros. What, what, what are they saying to their celebs right now in the wake of what they've just been through tonight to now have to to sit on the chopping block? There's, well, there's only one thing that they can say. Ah! Big bomb. Bomb has been dropped. Wow. Metaphor, there is no elimination. No elimination. This week. And that's huge. Thank you. That is, if there's ever been an air horn moment here on no Dancing with the Stars All home. Access. Yes. And they will be wow. really happy about that. I know that they will. Uh, I know that you will. Party, I know that. I know. Look, it, it has been an emotional show. And so I guess right now, let's talk about the top stories. Let's talk about the things that we think Emma, everyone's going to be talking about tomorrow. So, yeah. first of all, Maureen, yeah. the emotions, there, there yeah. it is, the top stories. Yeah, top stories. Um, so let's kick it off um, with that first, there it is, we're, we're live, okay, we're live now we're in live. our boxes, okay, so there we go. <laughs> we are okay, live, okay, okay. I thought we maybe, you know, it, it is an emotional night, I wasn't sure if we were going to cross live, I but know, now I, I realise that we are, I forgot completely about that, so now get your notes ready, uh, and now let's look here, Maureen, emotions, she had a lot of emotions tonight.
Uh, how do you think that was read? She did a great job. I think she did her best dance yet, and, uh, and the judges seemed to really like that. It was, she definitely does better at the ballroom. Uh, that foxtrot was stunning, and, I, and who isn't a hopeless romantic? I know I just got engaged, so I'm definitely a hopeless romantic. Yes. I love dances dedicated to spouses and other hearts. And I hear you, and look, speaking of that, fiance, he is on his way up for your questions at DWTS All Access, anything you want to know, anything you want to, but anyway, yes. I digress. Beautiful emotion from Maureen. We need to talk about Mary Lou. We need to talk about her 27. We need to talk about what this woman did tonight. Fantastic. Best dance here. What do you think? Yeah, she absolutely agree with that. It was in her face. You could see the confidence in that. So Mary Lou definitely had her best dance tonight. Viennese walls, lots of beautiful accents choreographed by Derek Hoff. And um, and she was absolutely dressed stunningly, dedicated to her mum, of course. I know, back but together. Wow, that See, was don't incredible live cross. When we're together. Yeah, it was like a fellow, there's a big wall in between I us. I know. Um, but yeah, Marilou, she, she had it. 1978 was her most memorable year, and it was obviously all about... Um, uh, her mum uh, and then getting getting the role of taxi all in that one memorable year. Um, so it's it's a it, it's very 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 bittersweet. And I think look, everyone out there can relate to that situation where you have great news and bad news, and, and life Absolutely. happens, right? And yeah. so it's just great to, to to know that the struggle that people go through and they get back on the horse and they achieve great things. And I think that's what tonight's about. Is it? Yes. In so many ways, it's a metaphor for for, for for you guys to be watching and kind of go, okay, wow, uh, we've got some incredible and, and, and really, um, I, I think, stories that stay with you and Absolutely. are going to stay with all of us for the rest of the season. And now let's finish our third top story of the night. James, his 29. Uh, we just saw the doctor that saved his life thanks to uh, this man, yeah. James is, is, is standing there and dancing his little butt off. Top scorer of the night. And um, it couldn't, like, don't forget, guys, this man is not a dancer. He has not taken a dance step in his life. He is an Indy car driver that, um, and but more than that, he suffered, like, this horrific um, accident that pretty much ended his life last year before he was revived. I mean, that's incredible. That's insane. That's like miracle. And now here he is, and he's a non-dancer, and he's he's getting tens from the judges, and that's his highest score. That's the highest score of the night, and um, and I couldn't be happy for him because I think that he puts in so much effort, being the competitor that he is, that um, uh, he he's reaping what he's sowing, and he that's proof of that. Well, just, in, just a great great I, performance. I want to say on behalf of all of the All Axis crew, we love having him up here. Oh, thank you. Sadly, uh, we have just been told that we have to wrap this thing up right now, but we're not going to let you uh, off the hook. Next week, when Sash comes up here, all of your questions that you guys have been sitting in, and from what I've been told, there are dozens and dozens of questions. We can't thank you enough for sending them thank in, you. but we need to, to wrap the show right now. Congratulations thank again. So we're going to get into this. Yes. I don't know where Sasha is, but we're going to find somewhere him. somewhere. I'll find him. Uh, thank you so much for watching. It's been an emotional night. We really hope that you've enjoyed uh, the experience of, of going on this journey with us. Yeah, right? we love having you. It's, a, it's been amazing. We love your comments. We love everything. Dom, you're the best host ever. I love being Me? here. Me? This Dom? Okay. We love you. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being a part of it. Do not miss the show next week. Someone will be eliminated. That is a guarantee. Who's it going to be? Right now, you need to pick up the phone and vote. I know who she wants you to vote yes. for. Vote! <laughs> You've got to pick up the phone and, and vote for your oh favourite. You see, they've left it out there on the dance floor, and now it's up to you. Who do you want to win this competition? Right now, though, just to keep you in that Dancing with the Stars groove, uh, take a look at this. You've got to go along to the Dancing with the Stars tour, dwtstour.com. Take a look at this promo. Thank you, Emma. Mwah, 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 mwah. You are welcome, Tom. We will see you next week. Thanks for watching.